because majority of our people are physically alive but mentally dead Islam. and therefore are the blind, deaf, and the dumb Islam. and they need somebody to lay hands on them. they need somebody to raise them up and teach them how to be what Allah created you to be because man is a thought of Allah so therefore, if he's a thought of Allah, then that means he is a direct descendant of Allah. Serious. No, you're not serious. No, for real. For real? Serious. I am she. Sentence to die or learn in this body tomb. Fallen angel manifested in flesh to the womb. Must make my way back. Can't just lay back. Caught up in this world, chasing some stray cat. Know thyself is my purpose and discipline. Showing the youth they're not at risk. No need for riddling. Those lost in the church, no need for middlemen. For those smoking reefer, no need for giggling. Playtime is over. Syrian beings looking with eyes when I does all of the seeing. I heard First things first, man, you're fucking with the worst. They take the soul needle in your head by the Nazi nurse. Extracted for Bill Gates' pills of melatonin. No beef pioneers for the elite, I know them. High maintenance children of humanity. Cares not for the world of balance and duality. Man-made laws, they push on the public. The master teacher said my brass skin, it's rusted. That was Marcus Garvey as the wind gusted. Popo plant drugs and guns to get us busted. Seeing inside the warehouse of the wards. Controlled by the warden and KKK guards. Overseeing the shadow stock and box lock. Inside won't see the cops that got Sean Bell shot. Incarceration is not serving as rehab. Come off a 10 year bid, your people like he's mad. No more head crack now. No six shooter chromes, gats are black now. It's MP3 with the they got cameras in your TV O's got adult breasts and ass Cause the steroids is true from the cows Oranges got no seeds They kill no disease They prescribe Stepped up from suits Left the sheep To kill the weak Stakes are high Live or die Get shot on the TTC Or crash your ride Let go of this pressure Leave the husk when an astral project, it's leaves and dust. States are high, live or die. Get shot on the TTC or crash your ride. Let go of this vesture. Leave the high astral project, it's leaves. I'll stop there for a minute. I want to just take a little time and, and just show some gratitude to your brothers that you see up there and the sisters that's not right here as well. But since I've been here, and Ron Moore, these brothers here have reached out for one, has made sure to come up together, me to and fall from here to there. It's Ron, wow. uh, these boys have made sure that one has had the proper nourishment to go back and demonstrate these teachers down in Southern Illinois. It's Ron, uh, they have also reached out for brothers from New York, <coughs> from uh, Canada, from uh, all parts of the earth, my Lord. So you brothers and sisters that's here, take advantage of these moments. You know? I when I speak, you can't talk unless spoken to. Most sound like records, broken too, with no facts. Trust me, I'm not quoting you. Melanin beings do what they're not supposed to. Going against the biological makeup. Instead of shooting sun rays, guns they take up. To go against tanks and carriers of aircraft. When I use air, the beast says no witchcraft. When I use fire, speak truth and shut up a liar. If I use earth, I'm calling on fam from the hollow core. When I use water, I feel like a tsunami on y'all. Martin Luther told y'all non-violence. 
He was a warlock, Russia, crucial candle, magic and silence. Been on this continent, living in minus degrees and temp in the pluses where my mind is. Open up your mind, Iris. I said it's ISIS. A son hey root is who the Christ is. Light of the world, watch me, enlighten the nerd. In your stomach like the center, I frighten your turds. Give you the runs, heighten your blurs with tones and words. Clock the skyscrapers are killing the birds. I'm giving you nerves and my goosebumps tingle your spine. You're listening to Iron Sheik and thinking it's prime. The absolute oil's got me not stinking a dime. Can't check enough peeps house, man, it's stinking a swan. Many sell out for a deal and sign with ink on the line. Incarcerating your speech for fiat, cars and yachts. Drinking devil's liquids, penny and yacht. Rappers turn convicts, God has turned bomb chicks. Niggas yelling, fuck the police is nonsense. They got guns by the box and run your streets. With all your so-called whore after they clap at your throat. Parole north, when caught, the gat didn't blow. I heard stories about men putting cock in a bro in the showers or get guards to leave the watch towers while the gang rape you in a bed of dead flowers thousands of brothers they wore those briefs can't think how much semen is on those sheets most need to go in strong not weak like my babe brothers lebron and shakur malik it's not cool living in the jail cell Rappers and MCs are liars and the truth they don't tell. Agents using examples of Larry Davis to have you shooting out with pigs from the basement to get caught and then become a killer replacement. Cops crooked like the eyebrow bust they lie through. Seeing is believing, believing is fake. They say fuck fruition and have blind faith. They take your collection, won't give it to the God. They take your perception and they give it to far. Seeing is believing, believing is fake. They say fuck fruition and have blind faith. They take your collection, won't give it to God. They take your perception and they give it to far. A master had to come. That's the reason we're having the 80th convention. 80 years ago, a master came. He touched down on these shores. Allah's love thought made manifest. And his name is Noble Drew Ali. He is a thought of Allah made manifest. He came to make a proclamation to you. Come all ye Asiatics of North America and hear of your nationality and your birthrights. You gotta know thyself or know thy death. Know thyself and know thy wealth. Know thyself, it's your duty. Know thyself, it's your duty. Know thyself or know thy death. Know thyself and know thy wealth. Know thyself, it's your duty. Know thyself, it's your duty. Who made him Allah? What is Allah? The feminine primordial five point star. Can't be seen. I meet her in the heart. Noble Drew Ali manifests as a thought. Save nations, that's the prophet's duty. Founded before New Jersey turned to New Jersey. Born in NC, 1886, teaching with Moors, not niggas and spits. Fallen humanity, he came to uplift. I'll say Islamism when he acts what with. Northwest of Mexico, some angels manifesting. You're not a Mexican, but a Mexican man. Go to the question. From the cast out laws represented Higher self is virtues, mother and life Breach justice, mercy, love and right The higher self can't fall, will ever stand Arm, leg, leg, arm, head and man No hatred, lewdness or slander Murders, no theft or abuse from anger MSD of AAC chambers Make young moors think as Christ with no mangers Teach the goddess no fear, hex up a stranger Astro project, death comes in the form of danger You gotta know thyself or know thy death Know thyself and know thy wealth Know thyself, it's your duty Know thyself, it's your duty Know thyself or know thy death Know thyself and know thy wealth Know thyself, it's your duty Know thyself, 
It's your doom and all the cares of the world on salvation Holding humanity from the womb comes the nation Seven days in the circle, seven days in creation She replaced the seven on the mason I cavemen are the ones aping We are from Asia, Asiatic, not Asian Olmec and Maru, not Jamaican or Bayesian For fiat dirty malls are really paper chasing Like April Fools giving papal dues To the Nazi Ashkenazi fake Jews Taking directions is not paying dues. Severe base says the news is the daily snooze. Leaving your wife and child to chill with dudes who act like fools. Getting robbed and left in blood and pools. Peace officers always begging the public for clues. You gotta know thyself or know thy death. Know thyself and know thy wealth. Know thyself, it's your duty. Know thyself, it's your duty. Know thyself or know thy death. Know thyself and know thy wealth. Know thyself, it's your duty. Know thyself. What did Sharif Abdul Ali say? We are what our foreparents were yesterday. No need for civil. We got birth. Because in ignorance, we love to fight, argue, and quote opinions about religions. Ra taking hybrids of earth in millions. In the new ages, reveal sun pages. In so-called holy books of custodial nation With fraud, there's no statute of limitations Abandoned the original, they fell for imitations Then fell into skin, they're calling it sin Light beings can't comprehend the darkness they're in Trapped like a vesture, body is the tomb Sisters get knowledge, the teachers in the womb Truth is, you sis have the first school Before the water breaks, my son would come out like Kirikou You gotta know thyself or know thy death Know thyself and know thy wealth Know thyself, it's your duty. Know thyself, it's your duty. Know thyself or know thy death. Know thyself and know thy wealth. Know thyself, it's your duty. Know thyself, it's your duty. Five on the left, two on the right. We give honors to the red flag with the green five point star. We give honors. Prophet, Sheep, Sharif Abdul Ali. We give honors to the Grand Major Temple and the Grand Body. Yeah. Know thyself. It's your duty. Know thyself. It's your duty. But as well as something dead, the prophet has taught us that the Negro is a four-legged beast. The 102s don't say what the 101 say. The 102 says that the Negro is a four-legged beast. And when you do a little research, you find out that there was an experiment that took place along the Yucatan Peninsula. And there was a being that was created there who had red fur or hair and green eyes. How many people are familiar with the Yucatan Peninsula? Not that many. Down that way. <laughs> South America, mm -hmm. right? He was called the Negro Arabo. Just to, just to quickly interject. Understand that the offspring is also at the meeting. So for all you people who want to talk about why are the children, I can't hear properly. Can you tell the children go outside or whatever? F all you people. So this is about the children. So just want to put that out there since the offspring was crying in the class and the speaker said nothing. And the parents not on some slap them, make them be quiet. It's all about the energy. Have y'all ever heard of that before? It's a monkey. That's what they called y'all. From corrupting the sun, 
Don't have the time to charge this See you climb on some of them They say let's bun it BET won't let me perform on Team Summit I never took the rap off Like whack MCs D. Brad didn't, so I see he's got clean knees. Handkerchief head and your mama niggas. Giving fiat to fags like he'll figure and other niggas. Yeah. Lifting your face cause your mind's deconstructed. Thinking like a cyborg, doing what's instructed. AI to me is one of the best engineers. And punk charging studio time are leeching queers, except Nia. Cause he never gets his props, but never conspired or did work for devilish cops. He was on the block and been on the block, still on the Block, but can't get knocked or get locked. Studio gangsters want to shot up like Pac to make a name, but this ain't a game. So serious, you think it's normal rhyming, seeking rights, but you know you'll never find them. Rappers are puppets, yeah, just watch me wind them up. Gangster lyrics got youths in crime and stuff. I would have sworn it was quicksand, riding a bike with no seat, no chain, no kickstand. I'm giving you too much and you can't withstand. Like Malcolm and the NOI, I got a disband. I might have a deal, some distribution, maybe not. Seen too many cheated when they signed the dotted spot. Nothing can stop me from erupting this sun. Don't have to climb in the charts to see you plummet. If I act on time of them, they say let's bun it. BET won't let me perform on Team Summit. Call me, man. Nothing can stop me from erupting this sun. Don't have to climb in the charts to see you plummet. If I act on time of them, they say let's bun it. Bun it. BET bun won't it. let me perform on Team Summit. I watch these rap moors looking all out of butt. Basketball yeah. moors, all they do is slap up the butt. Don't say it's a game just to justify the fact. I seen LJ and Shaq dressing in drag. I seen Isaiah and Magic kiss and justify it. Charles Barkley knows the truth and he can't deny it. Try it. They boxing out with the ass and back him down with the butt. I'm looking at the ball nowadays like, what the fuck? Where's the high fives? Nowhere to be seen. I'm seeing guards made a hit calling sisters ice cream. They call her Earth. And yeah, they treat her like dirt. Noble Drew said humanity is written on a skirt. All you want to do is get numbers and flirt. Homies over hoes, just like Ernie and Burke. Gangs delicious. Got youths like Riley promoting the gay. Two earrings and long shirts, man, you're shopping all day. High heel slave hanging tree boots. You coon goose wearing fatigues on the block and you're surrounded by troops. You got guns, you claiming tons. But take clubs to the head while the police are selling you drugs. Undercover, some Time as a cracker or your brother. No invite for the sellout to the last supper. <laughs> Nothing can stop me from erupting this stunning. Don't have to climb in the charts to see you plummet. If I act on time of bin, then say let's bun it. Let me perform on Team Summit. The more science temple of America, we teach divine creed. Islam, we teach nationality. You must listen when you hear, hear these speakers. You must give a keen ear. You must learn to be still because if you're not still, you're going to miss the blessing. Islam, you're going to miss the lesson. Because I'm going to tell you something, that that evil spirit is moving. Yes, and it moves on your concentration. Yes, Islam, when it knows you'll begin to digest your natural self, it sends something before you to distract you. As long as you at your best, boom, here comes Satan. Sun Falcon, niggas like the swagger. Copper sports your jaguar. I'm Ethan, fuck a gun. I'm shooting raised gamma. Allergic to banana, not the clips below the hammer. Fuck that gay bitch cracker. King Asiatic, no one's equal to the master. MC not a rapper, cosmic DJ and dancer. Thought streams, hieroglyphic, port fiends, optimistic, never up the outcome. Feds are never outrun, cause I didn't have to. Spit without the actual. My temple holds the thoughts of Sheikh Sharif Abdul. My body is the capsule, extra terra astral. Coming like the normal, straight back to Lesbo. I'm running out the homo, not against the person, just against the culture. Situations worse than when we swarming like a vulture. Not to scavenge, I'm here to avenge Some transform, but I'm here to transcend Wake you out your sleep, 
the shepherd of the sheep, living on the base chakra, booming in your jeep. You're going back to Cali, never heard of Lakshmi. I'm the black one who's the consort of Cali, not Yoga Yuga. Freeze you with the Mudra. Return of Naga Judah, it's the Morris Sufi Buddha. Killed by a trooper, was Milton William Cooper. They all a pale horse on cell stalking walls. Radiate your corpse, there's worms and forks. Staying in your forks, but they judging me in courts. And swearing on a book. And when I swear at home, I'm getting dirty looks. I'm innocent, I'm leaving. Heathen's brains leaking. Not from the bomb. When I'm strong and teaching, facts catch a beating. You could say a haze and something that I'm Asian, but when you hear the Trinity boy, I cuss you in Jamaican. Sun Falcon L, Sun Falcon L, Sun Falcon L, Sun Falcon L, walking out of hell. Some think rebel, but I mean rebel. Shoot up the closets, got them hiding in the cupboard. When they come with thoughts and call me Negro or colored. But sometimes black, that's an adjective at that. They pinch your motion nerves to make you react. Rose gets the park, but a road from Mike Myers. Who's a tell vision? Saddle or a vet, I'm not looking for love, man, I'm demanding respect. You're slamming on your gavel, then I'm standing on my square. Astro projecting in the realm, I reappear. Paul, I sort of try to talk unless I dress or get the depths there. Dealing with the one-on-one questions, Quran. Muslim, not Muslims, praying on my hands. Praises to Allah. Praises to Cha, praises to Olakuna Guna Batala, praises to Ra, God, my Ba, and my God. Black stick that the Masons when we are the sons of Ma. I remember Bip. We need to wake up. We need to wake up. We need to wake up. Islam. Peace and love to all Moors. We're here for another Canaan land Moors. Installment. So, it's been ten years repping. This is to all the Moors who rep for Canaan land. Moors who came, sat on my couch, ate food, building, laughing, chilling, because they realized something, just as Moors. As Moors, they just realized something. And because they realized, they get honors, right? They get supreme honors. You know, more saying, I just happened to be in Canaan land, and I said, let me just call the number and see if I get, see if I get the Grand Sheik. Because if I'm in Toronto, I mean, what more is going to come to Toronto? What Negro black colored even is going to come to Toronto and not at least try to touch the door of the first Moorish Science Temple of America in this jurisdiction called Canada. This thing been around for a hundred whatever years and 2008 is when the first one was established. Why was it established though? Because we fight people here. We use other people to show people here that don't, you don't really get what's up. You really think that this is just some play play because we know Taj and all that stuff. You think that this is just, we know whoever, name them, we know them. How come? Because like, there's only one place to be is with active Mars. You know where else to be. We just happen to be the active Mars that are in the northern but we got our jurisdiction from Mecca. So we're going to put it on the record.
tonight. Just so, and remember what we said, remember what we talked about, forget pers personages. Forget that. Get the message. Get the point. The point is to get the point. If you don't want to get the point, it's cool. Now you're not taking it personal because, yo, like I said, we've been here 10 years. Seeing people come, seeing people go. Islam to all the Moors who've been around since 08. Islam to all those Moors in Canaan land. Moors that, you know what? We're going to drag these ball and chains with our feathers on. Forget you have jurisdiction. Jurisdiction over what? We know that, you know, with all due respect to people who want to be Canadian, we don't have to say the Queen is our anything. We don't have to. I mean, we have that right. So, to be in all these schools of thought, like I said, we brought Bobby Hemet here. That's metaphysics school. That's master. Only time ever. People are conscious and all that stuff, but they only brought Hemet here one time, and that was us. Phil Valentine here. Right? I put money in the hand of the man who was paying to bring Phil Valentine here. We don't have our name on no flyer or nothing like that. Why? We already know he's an L. We already know so. What do you mean? We're from the Hemet School. Who then goes back to see Freeman L to show you how real it is? Forget all the comedic BS. Bobby Hammett's teacher was C. Freeman L. Are you dumb? You guys are dumb. Dumb. But that's only because you want to be. Came through all the schools of thought. To bump into Arneel Bay on MySpace Telling me about Morsh. More Morsh. I mean Morsh. What's that? And then start and then remembered. Hey, that's the guy. That's the guy that was wearing the hat in the video. So now going back. Just to rewind now. My good brother. Brother who, if it wasn't for us doing what we do, he would be in a casket. Just because he bumped into some different brothers who put him on a different whatever. He took his whatever street or whatever and applied it in a different way and Right. Brother goes to New York. Harlem connects with Sonnetter. Gets the crazy DVD archive. Crazy. like a good few hundred and went through every single one of those. Went through every single one. There was everybody, anything that they had on VHS that they were transferring to DVD at that time, we had dibs. So when we brought it out here like that, people would get on you know what I mean? Yeah, man, let me get whatever, whatever. And then two months later, we're seeing everybody with the stuff that we brought back. Like, hey, how do you, 
How do you get that without going to us or whatever? This is when you know that, oh yeah, this is the people's stuff. So, okay, you guys want to get hype? Okay, then we just flood everything out and mess everybody's game up. Nobody can't get anything. Put everything out. Right? There was two DVDs that I put in. Sitting there, maybe got five minutes in, like, forget this. I don't know what the hell this man's talking about. And what the hell is that hat? Got to some metaphysics, all this other stuff, black slave, all this BS. And this is pre finding out about more science temple. Right? So another one, put it in. What the hell is this guy talking about? <laughs> Forget that. Fast forward now to Neil Bay, talking about this Moorish or whatever and Pictures of Noble Juali, stuff like that, showing pictures of Mars. I'm like, hey, those are, those guys are wearing the hats from the guy with the video. So I had to go back now and hunt through hundreds of DVDs or whatever, because didn't know the name, didn't know anything. I just put DVD to the side, didn't even care about it. I had to go all through these DVDs again to find these two DVDs. And then found the two DVDs, and it was driver's license fraud one and two. And then now, after now, taking it in, like, oh, that's what's going on? No, that can't be what's going on. No way. No way. That can't be what's going on. We couldn't have been lied to like that because we, we had libraries and stuff like that giving people books. So we've been on knowledge. Pre-2000, we've been on knowledge of self. Never heard about this thing more ever? That's impossible. There's no way that this thing could be hidden that good. Like, okay, fine, man. We got to go check this thing out. Who's game? Bus trip Chicago. Let's go. Man said, yo, I'm game. Let's go. I need to get out of here anyways. When? Go to Mecca. Get off at the bus. More told the story millions of times, but it's just the same every time. The aura emanating from this being that was wearing the fez had a royal blue outfit, right? No collars, no cuffs. Same color trousers, pants, bottoms, and black shoes. I don't know what kind of car it was that went in. I don't know what color it was. I don't know where we went or whatever like that. All I know that who is this guy? I'm from being around the elders and be around Bobby Hemet and be around all these people. Right? We know people who've been in the NBA and all that type of stuff. Like we're is we're not we're not groupies. But I was groupie on these Moors. These Moors had me starstruck. Like, what do you mean you have the all blue and you just look like, like something I, I've never experienced before? You know what I mean? Like when they talk about Eureka moments. So we go to a tailor shop before we go to the temple. We go to the tailor shop. There it, it goes. When you go in the door, you can go left or right in, in a U shape. Right? One half of the U, the other half of the U. So we go to the way of the left. 
and we're just looking at you know the different fabrics whatever that they got there and turn around and look at the door and everybody who was working with somebody had stopped what they were doing and were like moving to the door like i don't know it's just not something that happens you know what i mean that's not something that you see and then they're just following them around the store or whatever i'm like did these men set this up? These men must have set this up. Because there's no way that a brother just goes in a store and some people just leave what they're doing and following him around to do whatever he has to do. And we weren't in there about five minutes or whatever. It wasn't even nothing long. Right? But everybody... I'm like, yo, these men set this up or whatever. I'm like, all right, forget it, whatever. So we go to the temple, pull up at the temple. Um, there's just, you know, moors outside. There's moors, you know what I mean? Like, oh, damn, this is pretty, this is cool. This is like going back, you know, just being on the block with the man then. And then... The door opened, and there's a moor with a black fez yellow tassel. And then he put his hand out and gave him, you know what I mean, five or whatever. And he's like, now your bag. Like, my bag. Like, nice, no, cool, yeah, I can hear my bag, or like, yo, your bag. Like, okay. <laughs> right. <laughs> gave up the bag. Just gave up the bag. Then go in the trunk, you know what I mean? Take out the other bags, go inside, we go inside. You no? Know? Went inside, um, you know, some fruits and stuff laid out you know um you'll see what i'm talking about um just as far as the layout and went into the back and that shower back there and it's like this is what this is what more science temples about like nah because remember i'm thinking back in my mind to oh my gosh marcus garvey center if we oh if we had marcus garvey center we would just do this to it Oh my gosh, Caribbean Resource Center. If we just had Caribbean Resource Center now. Okay, so now it's all about just getting a place because we already know what's up. This is just from walking in the door and seeing what's going on. Okay, this is something, this is something real. This is something very real. So the night that we got there, they had um, their Holy Day meeting. And this is what will be taken in for today. Excuse the, um, you know, the, it looks good on this thing, but then when it goes on YouTube, it looks like some BS. So just um, um, know that you could, you know, get the audio, right? So let me see this way to do this. Um, let me check this too. All right. 
just making sure that that's working. So it looks like we might have an issue. Yep, it's doing that. So it might be just audio while I try to find a could just use this one. Oh yeah. I'll find a better picture. We'll see what's up with this. This is a lot more take notes. We'll turn to the lesson on just chapter 30. Go. I'm on page four. Peace of society dependent on justice. The happiness of individuals, is, I'm sorry, the happiness of individuals on the safe enjoyment of all their possessions. Keep the desires of thy heart, therefore, within the bounds of moderation. Let the hand of justice lead them aright. Cast not an evil eye on the goods of thy neighbor. Let whatever is his property be sacred from thy touch. Let no temptation nor any provocation excite thee. Thy hand to hazardous to hazard on it of excuse me of his life. Defame him not in his character. Bear no false witness against him. Corrupt not his servant to cheat or forsaken. And of and and the wife of his bosom, O tempt not to sin. It will be great to his heart, which thou canst not relieve, and injury to his life, which no reparation can atone. In thy dealing with men be impartial and just and do unto them as thou was thou was they should do unto thee be faithful to thy trust and deceive not the man who relies upon thee be assured it is less evil in the sight of Allah to steal than to betray <coughs> be faithful to thy trust and deceive not the man who relies upon thee be assured it is, it is less evil in the sight of Allah to steal than to betray Oppress not the poor and defraud not of his hire the labor, the laboring man. When thou sell, when thou sellest for gain, hear the whispering of, of, the, of the conscience and be satisfied with moderation. Nor, nor advantage, take they take any advantage. Pay the debts which thou owest, for he who gave thee credit thine honor. To withhold his due, just finally, O son of society, examine thy heart, call remembrance to thy aid. If any of these things thou hast transgressed, make a speedy reparation to the utmost of thy power. As long as you know. <laughs> I read this chapter on for, for one for one reason and one reason only. I encountered a situation where a sister was speaking about uh, another uh, to, uh, uh, purchasing goods. And uh, in War Science Temple, it's, it's customary that we support our own. It's a self-supporting nation and ministry. Um, and it's important that if my brother has a has something that I want or, or has, a, has a good or, or product that I can purchase that will help me, that I can borrow with him, and you know, and if I if I don't have it, at least I can buy it from him as, as opposed to going out to someone else for, uh, to to purchase. I heard the sister say that. Well, I heard the sister complain that the price of his goods was too high, and I thought back and I said, well, you know, I don't recall any of the myself or anyone else, you know, ever complaining about the price of the goods you said. You because you are Islam. So, in, res in, in respect to justice, I, I, I thought to myself, well, you know, what is what is what is justice and come? Love is at the is the first principle of of of, of, uh, of, the, of our nation. In my Islam, Islam. Justice is on the tail end of Islam. 
There's, there's no there's no happenstance in it. There's Well, I heard the sister complain that the price of his goods was too high. And I thought back and I said, well, you know, I don't recall any of the, myself or anyone else, you know, ever complaining about the price of the goods you said. We just support you because you're our sister. Well. So in, res in, in respect to justice, I, I, I thought to myself, well, you know, what is, what is justice in coming? Love is at the is the first principle of 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 of, uh, of, the, of justice is all the tail end of it. Well, there's there's no there's no happiness in that is, that is created that way. But justice and love are are one that have justice if I have no love. And then listening to the sister demonstrate, I didn't hear the possibilities of man. I just heard instability. I heard inconstancy. I heard. I definitely did. I heard misery because only a person who's unset, uh, who's un, uh, unpleased with himself, shines shy the actions of another. I would much rather reach out to my sister or my brother and help them, even when I see they're in their lowest point, because I'm, that's what a true Moorish American is about. We think that uh, that when it says uplift and fallen humanity, it only means the people that we see out there in the street. Uh, I'm here to tell you today, boys, that the Moors got need healing too. That's right, Mo. We at the, the clinic right now. Talk to us, see. Uh, so I, I reached and I and I, I dealt with the sister. I talked to her, and, you know. I talked to her in, in respect to justice because I, I feel it. If if you know, if I need you, I should be able to call without without question. If I need you, I should be able to say, "Hey, sis, you know, let me get that up out of here." And I'm not worried about the price. I'm not worried about what it costs. And. Uh, she didn't act weird, you know what I'm saying? She stayed herself and she still purchased it, but she complained about it. And I figured, you know, what's the point of complaining about something if you're gonna if you if you're gonna get it anyway? If you if if you my brother and you're my sister and you love me, then I shouldn't hear anything. You should just do for me because you love me as well. Wow. Um, wow. Oh, then I was, uh, in the same respect, I was talking to my uh, my mother today, and she said that uh, she was online doing a little chat demonstration and was talking to some people, and they uh, were talking, I guess they had a, a big thing up there talking about hate whitey, hate whitey, and uh, don't, don't do anything for, for, for the Europeans, and my son, my mother was <laughs> she typed in there that you know I don't I don't wish to live in just uh, a, a monoculture uh, neighborhood. I like to live in a multi multicultural neighborhood. I never lived in one culture neighborhood. I didn't raise my children there. But she also didn't uh, teach us to not be self sufficient. She had to do for our own before we reach outside and try to do something for someone else. So uh, I thought about that in respect to justice as well. How can you raise? How can you raise? In a society with no justice, security, uh, as we say that nationality is the order of the day. But how can we have? How can we? How, how can we not have security and justice as the order of the day? If if, I, if there's no justice, our children raise our raised in a society where what happens is you find them out uh, degrading their systems, uh, cars at, at school, even though we understand. It wasn't built for our children. It was built to, to, to murder our children. Um, uh, work as hard and as they possibly can to to do as much as to slavery. They love being called niggas. They they like dancing and doing things that promote lewdness, murder, and everything at home. Um, so at what at what point in time are, are our parents gonna step up? And promote justice within and equality and equity within our children. If there is, if they don't, if they don't catch it at home, they won't catch, they won't be able to deliver it in the street. So I read, I read the the, the lesson on uh, on justice, and I, it tells me that justice in itself starts. With love. Justice starts with love because justice is a tears on it as long. And you have to manage. If I'm not, if I'm 
only going to do things that, that help me when I'm when I'm doing right, and I'm not going to do things that help the the other man when he may be going wrong. And there's no justice in my life. I'm I'm basically battling a a, a, a fight within myself. Right. So I reach out to to those even when I know they're in their lowest point. Do as much as I possibly can because in order for this society to function, in order for our nation to in order for us to be able to fully uplift our fallen humanity, we have to learn to deal with each other or, or, or it's not going to last. Our treasurer speaks about uh, bringing finance into the temple and, and how important it is. It's mean and unjust to have finance and not bring it. It's mean and unjust to give only, like my, my mother was talking about how it's customary and, and Christian belief to give 10% of your earnings. Talk to him. Well, it's it's unjust to have ten percent, but really have two hundred percent. That you're just not doing nothing with it. You're gonna jag on uh, fast food and a, a, a lot of clothes, and you see your brother in the street suffering, and I know you need a job, or I know your car is broken, and I got the alternator, but an hour can come over. And fix it. You know that. Right. So, and then justice is so. If I see you doing wrong, and you my guy. I'm not supposed to just let you do wrong because you my guy. If I don't step up to the plate, then then I must then it had, then justice needs to rain on me as well. As long as I can't be a Moorish American and not live off the five principles on the man, no, uh, five, five, five principles on the man. So I have to be strict. I have to be impartial. As talk, as as talk. As um, <laughs> uh, I also wanted to, to read something uh, something else. And this is uh, back to magistrate and subject. Well, Page 38. <laughs> matter of fact, I'm sorry. Master and servant. That's uh, chapter 28. <laughs> Same thing. Long. It says, repine, O not. It says, repine not, O man, at the state of servitude. <laughs> is the, I'm sorry. It is the appointment of a lot. And have many advantages. It removeth thee from the cares of, and solicitudes of life. In life, the honor of, of a servant is his fidelity, his highest virtue, and obedience. Therefore, under the reproof, and when he rebuketh thee, answer not again. The silence of thy resignation shall not be forgotten. I read that because. How many of the Moors know what ego? How many of the Moors know what ego is? <laughs> how, many, how many of the Moors have worked for someone else? I, it don't matter if it's a European or one of our brothers or whatever. How many? How many of the Moors have worked for someone else? How many of the Moors have got one of the worst problems in the world? <laughs> it's long. I'm working. <laughs> Master and servant is important because everyone has a place and everyone must learn their place. One of the sheiks told me one time that when a statement is made to you, when a statement is someone is uh, giving you constructive criticism, that every every critique doesn't warrant a rebuttal. That you can hear better when you're silent. It's not the honor of, the, of, the honor of a serv servant is his fidelity. His highest virtues are submission and obedience. But uh, be patient. Therefore, under the under the under the reproofs of thy master, when he rebuketh thee, answer not again. The silence of thy reverence for God. When I was a, when I was a child, my mother told me the exact same thing. She said I talk too much. She said that if you be quiet, you can hear better. So I stopped talking. When she was talking, I stopped trying to. Oh no, 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 that's not what I meant. And I started to listen more. So as I started to listen more, I started to hear the thing. And what it is is because, as Grant she says, we listen through filters. I hear, hear the things that I, I was hearing. Everything that I wanted to. No, no, no. I, I, I got to answer that. You're not going to tell me that I can do that. And it also happens. That, so I think I can. I think I can solve every problem. I don't care what's going. on. No, I honestly believe that I can solve I guess, some magic, imaginary monster or, or man I got in my closet. But I promise I think I can solve every problem. But I said I can't solve every problem. And, it, and that's my ego fighting 
the things, and it might not seem like it might just seem like the passions of my heart. Thinking that you know, I can't let my brother walk without love uh, leaving this demonstration. I got to make sure my brother still love me when he leaves. Mm -hmm. But it, it's love to show up to to humble out and allow the brother to walk off mm -hmm. and deal with their brother on a different day. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> when it comes to when it comes to to silence to the silence of our uh, uh, the silence of our resignation, I realized that silence in itself is gold. The law speaks to man in a still small voice as long. And uh if you if you if you're talking, for instance, we you see people praying with their mouth open. Allah, oh, please save me. Let me. don't let my children go to school and, 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 and get hit by the bus and whatever it is you praying to Allah for, you know. You see that. It's it's pointless. If you humble yourself, you can hear what Allah is trying to get. You can hear the measure that Allah has for you that has he has in store for your heart. As long. I'm gonna read just a little bit more. Be, uh, be studious. Be studious of his uh, of his interests. I'm, I'm sorry. Be studious of his interests. Be diligent in his affairs, and and faithful to the trust which he reposeth in thee. Thy time and thy labor belongs upon uh, unto him. Now, how many people think this is talking about working for somebody at your job? <laughs> Everybody draw it. This is. A conversation between you and a lot. <laughs> and that it, it goes to it goes back to, to saying that people ask for things and think that a lot supposed to give it to you the day that you ask for it. Well, when the when the real draw is that a lie waiting and they don't have no no uh, ledger at the house full of uh, uh, little rice on there. Okay, well uh uh, Taki needs uh, thirty-five dollars for uh, rent. Uh, Mow in the back needs twenty-five. Uh, put some new tires on this car. That's uh, not how that works. A lot, a lot of blesses those that bless themselves. Right. A lot blesses a man that gets up and does work for himself. Right. I don't wait on a man. To, a lot I don't sit and wait and hand it and get up and do something that you can do for yourself. If you have the ability to get up and 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 watch cartoons in the morning or watch sports on the weekends or go out and kick it with your girlfriend and you got the ability to get up and make your meeting on time. As long as you gotta go help your brother jag your money on drinks and living. You know what I'm So in respect to in respect to um in respect to being a, a master and servant, I know that in order to be a servant of a law, I have to be a humble spirit. And I have to exude that spirit, not just within, but without. Uh, without. So when I see my boys, I greet you in peace. When I leave my boys, I greet you in peace. If we have, a, if have an indifference, I humbly bow and allow you to, to exude whatever it is you got to do. And then I'm going to come back and I'm going to greet you later. And hopefully we can solve that demonstration out of here on the, on the, on the plane. So uh, with that, I'll leave you as I can in peace. And I call up. Our national grand treasure, Mr. Hope. <laughs> 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 Arise, giving praise to our life, Father, the universe. Uh, I give praise to all the hills and bays, the babies, uh, the grand sheep, the national grand sheep. Uh, the governor, the grand governor, our divine minister, and all other sheep. I give praise to our flag, the flag of the monarchy, the red flag with the five point green star in the center, representing love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice. I give praise to that flag. Uh, I um, want to start off by, with our uh, chapter 45. On page 56. The divine origin of the Asiatic nation. The fallen sons and daughters of the Asiatic nation are going to learn to love instead of hate and to know of their higher self and lower self. This is the uniting of the Holy Quran of Mecca for teaching and instructing all Moorish Americans, etc. Civilization was and is in the hands of the Asiatic nations. <coughs> the key of civilization was and is in the hands of Asiatic nations. The Moorish, who were the ancient Moabites 
in the city of Mecca, ETC, Chicago. The Egyptians who were the Hamatites and of a direct descendant of the Mizraim, the seed of Hagar, Japanese and Chinese, the Hindus of India, the descendants of the ancient Canaanites, Hittites and Moabites from the land of Canaan, the Asiatic nations and countries in North, South and Central America, the Moorish Americans and Mexicans in North America, Brazilians, Argentinians, and, and Chileans in South America, Colombians, Nicaraguans, and the natives of San Salvador in Central America, etc. All of these are Muslims. All of these are Muslims. The Turks are the true descendants of Hagar, who are the chief protectors of the Islamic creed of Mecca, beginning from Muhammad I, the founder of the Uniting of Islam by the command of the great Muslim God, Allah. Now, I chose this chapter to read from today, uh, stemming back to what we <coughs> spoke of yesterday before. What is the divine plan of the ages? And the divine plan of the ages is to reclaim the the land that we own, which belongs to the Asiatic nation across the land. Uh, we spoke a lot in our panel discussion yesterday of what is the actual beginning of the plan. Uh, but I don't know about it. Regardless of what the plan begins with, what is the actual outcome of the plan? The actual outcome of the plan is to get back to where we which was what this, the had in their control when the Europeans, uh, which is which is uh, illustrated in the treaty that we we obtained from back in 1492 when we fell until this present day. Um, we own everything, and I want to speak on last night about. Uh, why is it that they have everything and we have to try to buy it back or we have to try to reclaim it? Uh, the reason that we have to reclaim it, and I'm going to use an ancient uh, example, is when they were young, especially males, when you had a Tonka truck. Mm -hmm. There's really no male that didn't love those yellow Tonka trucks. And we didn't want our best friend to touch that Tonka truck. But let's say you had that Tonka truck and you loved it with everything you had. But then your best friend took your Tonka truck. He bullied you out of your Tonka truck. Let's say he bullied you out of your Tonka truck. Like they bullied us out of our land. Uh, and then he took that Tonka truck and gave it to his and his son gave it to his son and so on and so on and then one day one of those sons said that Tonka truck belonged to my father and I want it back he would say ain't nobody told me this Tonka truck belongs to you and in no way you go get it because I love this Tonka truck in the same aspect the Europeans took it and some of the Europeans don't even know that it don't belong to them it's some of them that do know, and they they are the ones that's the real gatekeepers of keeping it for themselves. But since now we know, and we've been uh, we've known since 1913 when Drew Ali came back, but we also have our own brethren that is helping the Europeans keep our temperature. So what we have to do is we have to wake up the people that the Tonka trucks belong to us. The land that they've been gathering with those Tonka trucks belong to us. And I will make sure the truck is in every driveway of the Asiatic nation once I build the form. So the basis, I mean, what I'm trying to, as, trying to get at is that my face is right here in the front row. And, and um, I always, I always illustrate for them. And the thing is, 
there's no other reason that you should do it. That's right, man. I mean, we all have been through the muck and mire of what they've been doing to us over, in my case, the last 32 years. And it's been going on hundreds of years prior to this. So what's better to, to uh, utilize your time than making sure that what you leave for them is going to be so much greater for the outcome of your babies and their babies and the babies after that. So I'm going to do whatever it is in my power, and I'm going to try to gather up all the power you guys have too to make sure that all these things come to fruition. Um, uh, I always, uh, the treasury, because it takes finance to uplift the nation. It's right, Mom. And I don't want everybody to believe that we need you to just pile money on top of that. Everything is just going to be uh, we're gonna snap our fingers and everything is gonna be done. Cause it's not. Um, everything is gonna take time because we got a monster fighting against us. And since we have the savage Europeans fighting against us, we gotta do. We gotta mount up, like they say, uh, mount up and fight back. And the, the the finance is not the only thing that's gonna succeed. And I'm, um, we're gonna succeed. Their time is up, and, and I'm trying to take them because I don't want them to have. Nothing. But we have to put forth effort as well as finance. We we have sheets across the nation uh, that we we're bringing online to make sure everything is done correctly and done uh, efficiently and effectively for us and all all of our people. But that's the move as a whole. Teach, as the sheep always says, we have to have a plebiscite. And that plebiscite is what's gonna make us succeed. I mean, I'm looking out into the audience and I see the beautiful fezes, the turbans, and even, and because of that, I know that not just from this 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 uh, temple, but across the nation. And if we continue to grow, to put into everybody's mind what it is that we need to get done, and then we put forth the effort to get it done, then we need the light at the end of the tunnel. I don't heard a preacher say it so many times. Uh, sometimes that's the thing that we can look forward to to actually like put across the message that you want to put across to somebody because things in a way and we don't see it but when some example or an image to look forward to you see well maybe he is right maybe he's he has something to say that that possibly will come true like i passed around that uh postcard last night um on the christian demonstration you know how, how they they uh, paid dollars for their church. They were at two one. Uh, they were already at what was it? One point five million dollars. Where's the card? They were at one point five nine one, I believe. One million five hundred ninety one thousand, and the progress that they had made within. Four months was over two hundred and fifty thousand dollars in a four-month period. Now, if we two hundred fifty thousand dollars in four months, I can't see how we can't make two hundred fifty thousand dollars in a year. And the thing is, I, I'm I'm better than that, but it has to be from the the national. They have to feel like this is what they want to put their effort, their time, their their finance into. Because it's your movement, it's your babies, it's your legacy that you need to leave behind for the next generation. And um, regardless of how long it's gonna take, you know what? I'm gonna change that because I don't want it to take a long time. I want it to. I, I want it to happen tomorrow. 
that's a hard thing. I don't, but that's I, you got to be optimistic. You got to know that it's gonna happen, and if it's gonna happen, you want it to happen tomorrow. And when you want it to happen tomorrow, guess what? It just may happen tomorrow. It could, like uh, I also spoke on the fact that we're going uh, to the police brutality rally on Monday. Before before tonight, I want uh, people if they we're going out there with a plebiscite is the of the nationals to be out there with us. So because I want us to be done. I want us to. Uh, I want us to go out there and be, be told, be recognized. People know that we're out here, but they're afraid to ask questions. They're afraid to see what we're all about. It's about that time for us to make sure they know what we all about. All right, teach. So we're going out there uh, on Monday. So I want everybody to come up to the truck to the secretary that wants to be involved. Um, it's Monday morning at. Um, the Federal Plaza. Uh, they're going to be down there from, uh, I believe, 10 to 2. So, um, we're going to probably leave here around 8, 30, 9 o'clock so we can get down there or at least meet up here. You start from the night? Yeah, night. Okay, meet here. All right. Because um, I want us to be known everywhere. We, we're we going to get out here and start um, gate to people, and we're gonna get out here just so we can be seen. Because uh, one of our sister segment said last night as well that we just need to be out here. It's on. Let's go. Um, let's go this place. Let's go that place just so we can be seen. When they see fairs and turbans, they want to know what's going on. It's on. So uh, I'm gonna start instituting a lot of programs, and I want everybody to be involved. Uh, and I and if even if you have an idea, just come up. Let me know what your idea is, and then we can put that into the manifest as well. Uh, so, in perfect peace and praise to all ills, bays, they, Ali, he's out there. I, I want everybody to feel as though that this is the temple you need to be in. That's right. Because this temple is the, the national grand um, major temple. Every temple is going to be. I want to make sure that this temple raises all of us there. Out there. Yes. Uh, Allah is Allah is Who is the greatest? Who is the greatest? Who is the greatest? Who is the greatest? Find message from our National Grand Church. Uh, uh, when Campbell back on what the Grand Church was saying about leaving a legacy for the church. This is your nation. I'm not waiting for the European to give me back nothing. I don't know about y'all, but the European don't owe me nothing. That's right. I'm about to go take what's mine. It's long. I'm about waiting on them to come back with a with a coupon and you can pick up your products uh tomorrow at five. The boys need to have you have to, you can't wait asking friends questions like what's long? The plan is if you got an idea, don't wait for me to go wash the dishes. If you see the dishes dirty, you get up and go walk. It's long. That way we keep the house clean. It's long. Um, but the babies, the babies, if we're not doing this for the babies, then what we doing? That's right. long. Because the frustration manifests into something beautiful and more beautiful than it is today. It's gonna be them who are carrying the torch. The prophet left this in the hands of us so that we can make a way for them, so that we can make a way for their children. And we don't if we don't get it right today, the the more they held the doors open for us. Long enough, like the brother Kid you Bay, who definitely held the door open for long enough to, for the grand sheep to come through, and grabbing the, the grand governor and myself and a lot of the other boys, uh, Muhammad Hill. What we what are we doing it for? As, as long as slap in the face and not do something to to show that we care, that we actually wow. that we actually that we actually plan to move this move. That's Islam, right, man. Um, right. Islam. I want to. Next call up, I uh, call up our next speaker, uh, divine speaker, Islam, Islam. divine servant of Allah, Islam. Islam. Islam, divine soldier, warrior for your children, Islam. 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 Our brother made a friend, Islam. Who is the greatest? Allah is the greatest.
Who is the greatest? Allah is the greatest. Who is the greatest? Allah is the greatest. And Noah surely is his promise. Islam. Uh, Islam. Once again, by the guidance of our Father God Allah, the one true, all wise God of the universe. I'm not I'm the present of the world. Who is the cause of this cause and the root of this? From which all things have grown, all right, eternal, and the incomprehensible. And to him alone deserve worship. Adoration, thanks, giving to the one who said, Be and it was all praises to Allah, whom all praises are due forever. Islam, Islam, we extend hell and high honor to our loved father, who is divinely prepared by the great God Allah to redeem man from his sin and fallen state back. His father God who came kicking over the tombstones of need and comfort, teaching us that man cannot be glad and comfort. Islam, because Islam. man is truly not was, but is truly made in the image and after the likeness of the Father God Allah, who was noble then and still noble now in these days. The divine prophet, noble Drew Islam. 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 We extend honors to all of the past and present moderators of the MST of A. We our national grand sheik on this site and his official staff. Sheik Dawi Ali here for his their industrious work, brother, Islam. and keeping it moving alive. We extend additional honors to the grand sheik on site, King You Omar Bay, for his Islam. diligent works. And doing what he knows how to do in his measure of understanding. Islam. That's right, Keep those doors open. Islam. Keep the soldiers moving in with the knowledge of truth. That's right. By any means necessary. That's Islam. right. Islam. 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 We extend honors to all of the ills and bays for their wheels and ways. Islam. Islamism is our true and divine religion. Religion is law, and law is government. And circle set, the law shall live. Islam. 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 Well, we extend honors to all of the members in attendance. Well wishes and support. We have come out in our day of what is it, the fifth day of our national convention. Islam. Because we could all be somewhere else drowning in the chaos of the world. That's right. And if you notice, I didn't say somewhere doing something else. Because there ain't nothing else to do. In this electrifying age, we tried everything. Yes, sir. Yes. But the prophet Noah Drew came teaching us how to be opposite. There's nothing else left to do. That's right. Man. But to imitate the prophet. Islam. Islam. Follow his footprint. Not been left out as a divine example that man can be risen from the unwholesome depths of poverty, of misery, and suffering. To place it back on the solid rock of salvation. Nationality is truly the order of the day. Islam. 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 You're a stateless person without. You are degenerate. You are degradation. You are a piece of child without it. Mm. But we can't get caught up on what appears to be. Because if we just proclaim and not practice, then we'll put the work in vain that the Prophet Noble Drew Ali have came paving the way for all of the uh, members uh, that sit here today with a concern for the uplifting of fallen humanity seek to be the successors of. Yes, we have to continue to be a living perpendicular. We have to be continue to be a living example of the prophet noble drowning islam uh -huh. that's our main focus we stand out to all of these speakers that came before us we know that these sheep have brought a mighty sword today we know that these sheep have went a man with things are made of thought the only place in the world that you can be alone with a lion and have contemplated that own frame and was able to drive home the knowledge of the truth and pound it in until it became a part of every part to be here to be able to come Demonstrate that holy breath so they can breathe upon the chaos of the deep out there and raise them perpendicular back on the swing. Islam, you know, one of the things that I want to say today that I want to go out into the heart and the minds of everyone who sit there and take it back to the workshop of a mind where things are made of thought and do what you will with it in a science of making it a part of every part. That we have to understand that a house divided against itself 
cannot stay. Right. Where there's unity, look, <laughs> where there's <laughs> unity, there's strength. Together, together as one prophet and one nation. Together we stand and divided we shall fall. Islam. Yes, See, we got to let this time of our convention must the only have. Even though we sit as the future day. And we're not wall to wall and we're not all out on the avenue with our seats today. Many are called if you are chosen. Y'all already know. Yes, sir. That's right. Islam. Show you. But we rather have more than here today. Whom are men and women upright and independent and fit. Rather than to have those who are the pretended wives that sit before us. Because when you're the pretended wives, you're living by a man. And we know that man knows nothing. No. That if man was, he must what himself be what? What he know. And then he can be what he a democrat. The more just spoke about it. He just spoke about it. He said it. We can talk. But if we ain't walking the walk, then we're demonstrating what you call Babylon of an hour. We're playing the fool by ass. Mm. And what's such a life of a man but the phantom of a dream? We love to chat. We love to talk about what we need to do, what we should do. But rarely do you hear people talk about what we are doing. Thanks, Mom. Because when we get into the spirit of what we're doing, then the resurrection is a fact. I'm saying to you that the will of man makes possible the action of the Holy Breath. Get it? Let me say that again. The will of man makes possible the action of now when you get into the spirit of what I'm talking about, that means that it's not in proclaiming something. It's good that we feel proud about the proclamation of nationality, the proclamation of, of, of uh, uh, the difference between good and truth. And that that's all right. But it does no good that if one see you talking one way, but acting out in another way. Come on, I'll talk to him. You see what I'm saying? Because these that work for these. And how often I distinguish truth from error. They come to a lot through what? Ceremonies and form. This is what they do because we understand that they need a pattern for their life. They love to follow and not to lead. So a mighty work is on. The majority of are physically alive, but and therefore are the blind, deaf, and the dumb. And they need somebody to lay hands on. They need somebody to raise them up and teach them how to be what Allah created you to be. Part of Allah. So therefore, if he's a thought of Allah, then that means he is a direct descendant of Allah. And if he's a direct descendant of Allah, then he has within himself all of the potencies, the attributes, the names, etc., the characteristics, the, the power, and the authority, etc. Do y'all understand what I'm talking about? Uh, I know it's power. I know it's power. Because we have gotten accustomed to being nigger. We have gotten accustomed to being. 
We have gotten accustomed to being the color. Punished and die. We have become anything that anybody choose to call. And we have become accustomed to that. But the prophet has already told us in his infinite wisdom that custom cannot alter the nature of truth. And neither can destroy justice. We are living in the glory and the shame being this. You can only be what Allah you to be. Nothing else that, that you can be. But now there's a lot of things that you can subject yourself to. There's a lot of things that you can be a follower of. And one of those things we have been follower of too long now is straying after those things that we know nothing of. Right. Yes, See, we think we need growth. We think we think we come. We think mm -hmm. we think we a big arm Jack. We think we Batman. We think we rock. We think we're Superman. But this is what the prophet talks about when he talks about free slavery. Well. This is mental slavery. And mental slavery is the worst kind of slavery. Well. You better off with some shackles on. Well. Because if you can think free, if you can think sovereign, but physically you can still free yourself. But if you bound down physically, bound down mentally, then that which is a slave shall remain a slave. Oh, Talk about where I'm coming from. Oh, I'm trying to free you. I'm trying to get you to understand that we're talking about the chemistry out of the darkness and into the marble. It's like we're trying to shake a dead man today. And we got to continue to hurl the troop at the and kick his brains out to the stop. <laughs> because I, we have been the subjects too long in the land that rightfully belongs to us from birth. We are the true landlords here. But until we unify together and become one strength, then that's when we, be, when we become the builders of civilization. We're not the builders of civilization. Yeah, we're building a nation of people. We're waking up every day diligently, getting all in the mirror to go out and help another nation of people to build their society, to build their communities. When, when you go to the Icky and the Henry Hornet and the Rockwell, we are still at the unwholesome depths of poverty, of misery, and of suffering. And we won't say a word. We won't say one word to our own people. A helping hand to our own we see every day Come on, walking up and down the street. Knowing they need help. If it ain't nothing but a word of wisdom. You ain't got the if you think I was talking about fiat currency and you think that's going to save a nation, you better understand these lessons. It says, what? It is what free national standards and power that makes a man and a nation. If we can get them in here, if we can get them in here and get it together from this point of view, that fiat currency is nothing but what it is. It's nothing but an illusion of the world. Right. See, we're going to give them something they can't change. We're going to give them something that's going to change their condition. Because it's going to change their thinking. Because first of all, if anybody's sitting here today that joined the more science tip of America and you didn't think that better, then you in the wrong house. Say it again. 
So that's what makes this movement what it is. We have to have men and women who understand that, that they're better. And if you think your condition can, now listen, what I said, if you think, if you think your condition can be better, that means you have to start with you. I understand about our open enemies, the Europeans. I understand that, but they're no longer the ones are doing us a harm. It's us that's doing us a harm. Anytime a brother tell me, it's all right for another brother to call me a nigga because of the color of my skin. He done gone crazy. But when the youth is a problem, what's such a life of a man but the phantom of a dream? Well, if it's coming from you, the Puerto Ricans, the Mexicans, the European, the Jew, it still means what it means. It don't change. Oh no, plan. These were the names that were given to slaves in 1779. That means that you were made in the image and after the likeness of the European. And you proud of that. Mm, well, right out that door and let somebody walk up with us and tell us, nigga, where you been tonight? <laughs> now find this blood out <laughs> We niggas and we always gonna be niggas. And you my nigga if you don't get no better. <laughs> you see how it works? What they say? You see how it works? It's it's true. They put that ham on. They put that ham on, they pound it in. Pound it in. Screw drop. Until it becomes a part of every part. Think about it. If that's all your children here all the time, all in the household, all at the school, all on the highways and byways, what do they think they are? Black and I'm proud. Mm. I'm a nigga if I don't get no bit. And we have to change the condition of our people. As a man think up in his heart, so is. So is. Yes. As he continues to think that, so he remains. Mm -hmm. That's where we're at. We got to get into the workshop of the mind. We have to take everything that the prophet brought to save a nation and take it and save our state. We have we have more digits, we have one on one, and we have additional information that the sheet can provide to each and every one sitting here today. And that's the only way that your condition gonna be changed. Here and think that when you leave out of here, you just got saved that Jesus laid hands on you. Mm. Oh, this ain't the church. No, this ain't the church. Christianity back to the European nation. Right. That means we are returning their thinking back to them. Get that thinking on back to ain't no middleman in here. The prophet over Jerusalem Lee is a Jesus. Oh yes, he is a Jesus, but he ain't that Jesus of the Bible. He ain't coming to lay mystery on you. He ain't coming to lay a uh, 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 hands on you and make you the cripple physically walk and the blind man physically see and the deaf man physically hear because you ain't never seen it done before that. Ain't nobody laying that they can fake that on TV all they want by somebody laying hands on somebody with a seizure and jump up the wall. He can walk in anyway. They ain't done for the camera. You were walking from the get go. But I'm gonna, okay, come on, bro. Yeah, we got a great seat bring license plates X440660. That'd be license. I'm going to read something and then I'm going to get off the corner. I know the other sheet that's coming up. Prophet announces his authority. I'm in a Moore's list. Prophet announces forced to make change. All governors and other officials of the Moore are hereby congratulated for their past loyalty and fidelity. For I know. It would be the same in the incidents that have arisen in some of the temples, which seem to come from the fact that there are those who do not know what is best. The problem to be published. All of the more science temple of America is vested in the power of the court, supreme body. The prophet has the authority and power to expel any officer or science of America who willfully violates or refuses to comply with the rules in regard to Branch Moore Science Temple. And such suspensions and expulsions shall stand until the judgment of the prophet. 
officers shall have made satisfactory atonement. All officers and members of the Moorish Science Temple of America and any such rules and regulations of the, the Constitution shall be in writing and not at variance with any law of the city, town, or nation which the prophet shall declare alone. During this session of the convention, during this session of the convention, all rules, regulations, and law of the Constitution and such as might be enacted and shall express and explain in detail so there can be no doubt as to what is required of each and every officer member of the organization. Typically not tolerate any interference with the operation of this land movement from anyone. <laughs> By the prophet Noah Drew Ali. Islam. Islam. Thank God for the prophet and his divine words because many have came and many have tried to change what the prophet brought. But they try and try and their own bad planning has brought down wrath upon them. They will not be successful, never be successful. <laughs> and trying to overthrow what the prophet has brought. We got a lot of people. I won't say it's like that. We have a lot of people who are proclaimers who are, who are pretending to be sheep. Who are pretending to be supreme grand government, supreme whatever. <laughs> They're pretending. That's right, Mo. This movement in an opposite direction. And if you don't know where to see the power with that, and you won't know when the shepherd calls on the sheep. And you're going to be waiting. Now, I'm not going to get into talking about any other temple because I ain't worried about any other temple. It's like uh, brand new temple number one, full steam And if you're on board with us, then we are on board with the prophet. We are functioning with the head of the prophet. This is the grand body that's in conjunction with the head of the prophet. And because we know that if you cut the head off, the body will put aside the head of this group. We can't never fail to recall what a seat of power will get back. Back and forth, that means we have lost confidence in the prophet. If we only heed to what the prophet says. This is not a problem. You think because you uh, where your fail last not to call your back pocket, you got your turban on, but yet you act contrary to what the prophet instructs you to do, that you think that salvation is for you. It's not for you. And sooner or later, no deep when you just saw. So I say to everybody who came out here today, enjoy yourself. Take the words that you hear today, they can apply to every part. Enjoy the rest of the festivities for the rest of the convention. I thank everybody for coming out. I thank everybody. Divine soldiers of the prophet and members of the more science temple of America and keep your loyalty and your fidelity. So that's where your allegiance should lie. Not to me. Not to me. You put your allegiance where I got my allegiance. My allegiance is to the law and the prophet. Do their part and do it with me. It's our it's our it's my grace. Who's the greatest? Allah is greatest. Who's the greatest? Allah is greatest. Who's the greatest? Allah is greatest. Allah is greatest. Allah is greatest. Beautiful message. The message brings. Um, uh, this is what the Grand Treasurer was talking about. Let me just pass this around. This is about the uh, church uh, raising the uh, money uh, to do the new. Uh, uh, yeah, <laughs> the, the new lie house, the new house of no, no, no. <laughs> you can do that and greater and more. Well, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> uh,
So uh, without further ado, we can call up uh, one of our chiefs, uh, Brother Malik, before we're back. Allah is great. Allah is great. Islam. 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 Uh, we promise to us, wake up, you sleepy people who will. Islam, give honest to all the other ways to do the will of Allah. Islam, we give honest to our child of our flag, we give honest to each one of you. Guess the ill, the bad, whoever it might be. Islam, at this time, man, that we take a reading from the Holy Family, the Holy Family, but there's no problem to draw a leaf. To the guidance of Father God and Lot. At this time, for the sake of the record, we take a reason for all of this. Now, it's love. It's more. It's now the time. Well, I'm praying to Lord. I'm just trying to get a message out of here for five weeks of God. Well, Elihu's blessing, the unity of life. And again, Elihu met the people in the sacred world and said, no man lives to himself. Every living thing is every other living thing. Bless all the pure heart. Bless our pure heart, for they love and demand nothing. For they love and do not deserve. They will not do to us what other men can do to themselves. I want to just take a little show of some gratitude to up there and the sisters that's not right here as well. But since I've been here, and one of more has reached out for ones, has made sure that the Mufti staff has got me to and fro from here to there. It's one of these boys has made sure that the ones that had the proper knowledge to go go back and demonstrate some of the noise. It's one. They have also reached out for brothers from New York, from uh, Canada. So you brothers and sisters up here, take advantage of these moments. I got it. It's only two or three of us where I'm at. Number some of the noise. You got to the right hand. Where about what brand in Throw that out the window. 
Tell me you a sheep or a sheep is by doing sheep type work. Anybody can wear the title sheep. See what I'm saying? I can go put that on the dog right now. A dab, sheep, whatever other title you get. Don't call me that company, brother. Yes, because I'm trying to demonstrate the magic. Now, who are trying to demonstrate the same magic? What is that magic? Yes, I'm trying to teach my children my own sales. And what is the other magic? Humanity. And I pray that my brothers and sisters is trying to do the same thing. We got some amazing work to do, Lord. And for the young brothers, because they said trips, bloods, titties, stones, whatever. We want y'all here too. Well. For those in the, in, the, in the church, in the mosque, uh, the represent Buddha, or whatever, we want you here too. Because you know what the order of the day is? That's not right. That's what we demonstrate. But you know, we're going to demonstrate in the spirit and heart as well. We need y'all, Lord. Each one, reach one, each one, teach one. Don't leave here and, 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 and tell somebody else about this message. Here. It's right. You got a MySpace page, communicate this to the ones that's on that MySpace. You know what I'm saying? Let them know what's going on. Oh, yeah, uh, uh, you got a driving ticket. Oh, yeah, what happened? Well, come on over to 8126. Cottage Grove, and, and, and we got a measure for you over there. Mom, you know, uh, uh, you say you're down and out today? Come on over to 8126 Cottage Grove. You know what I'm saying? See what's going on over there. I bet you they got something up there. Well, we're running out of time, boy. Probably said what? The time is what? No, no. It's long. So come on, boy. And some of y'all, man, reach out. Don't always burden our cheeks out. We have to get up here and demonstrate tape measures. You always got magic as well, because what? What do you say? The gifts and understanding are the who? Right. And who? Okay. I all got a portion. <laughs> right. Straight to the magic. This divine grand body here want to hear from y'all. We don't want y'all leaving from here saying, oh, those boys ain't doing nothing. They just they just talk. No, sir. We waiting on for you boys, brothers, sisters, children, bring our deity. Come with their agenda. We're going to ride with it. Don't tell us, uh, you know, we need to do this, let's do that, let's do that. But then you ain't trying to do nothing as well. We burden now, boy. You know what I'm saying? We need to step up to the slate and take your place in the fast of man, you know? We're going to get some blessings behind this. So come on, boys, let's wake up. Let's stand on these streets. And if you truly believe in love, let's demonstrate that message. This I don't want to take no more time. I just want to share that with you, brother. And sister. We got some work to do, boys. So let's let's be about this work. Don't come in here thinking we drawing each of y'all. We're not on that uh, 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 Braswell Bay, Jackson Bay, Horn Street Mo. We don't care about none of that. You know what I'm saying? We're talking about, I'm going to tell you tomorrow, always tell me. This moment been working. Stand up, bro, please. Yeah, I, I got to put you on Front Street. <laughs> this one been catching me. Every time I go to my no. This mo can't me and tell me mo. Oh, I ain't trying to hear that mo. No, 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 you know what I'm saying? And that's what time it is, mo. We're not drawing off of that just so you can have a seat. This brother here, you know, he's been standing up for himself. When myself was out in Asia, when myself was doing, you know, don't think how no more is perfect now. Mm. Don't get that twisted. Mm. Man, the upright in the is really, but we know man is also looking close to the strength of men. That's wrong. And you got your national brand sheet. Can you please stand up for me and son? This brother here reach out for a brother all the time. All the time. All the time. This brother give his last dollars to his brothers and sisters. I don't want to keep it real with y'all. I'm not trying to dress anything up. I'm not trying to make it. This ain't the term. I want to give you the butt naked truth. Take it or leave it alone. These more is going broke for y'all because they believe in what the prophet says. And though nobody in here get a quarter from the government or from anybody. So we think about that. You want to teach. So make sure this place is secure. Make sure the juice is secure. Make sure there's nothing going on fun. Think about that. I'm coming from the heart. Believe in peace. Uh, uh, who, is the the who is the greatest? Allah is the greatest. Who is the greatest? Allah is the greatest. Who is the greatest? Allah is the greatest. Islam. 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 I promise to give it all honor and praise to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala when there's no prophet. Teach me about who I leave, but I know it's going to be who I leave. Islam. Without further ado, I know my man don't want to speak.
and things. Jesus is long like just now. I read that chapter because of priest. Just now, he was a very wise man. But he had the insufficiency of knowledge in certain areas about the higher and lower self and what you were. Yes, huh? yes, and the same thing that Prophet Jesus did to Lamas, we need to do among each other. Yes, huh? yes, truth does not change or pass away. Yes, the truth of the matter is, is that we are a nation lost in another nation. Yes, huh? yes, we are a people of Moorish descent. Who think that we are Negro, Black, Color, and African American? Most of us today that has not been nationalized, why wear the name of the slave masters? If your name is Harris, Smith, Jones, Williams, Culpepper, <laughs> ETC, which means etc., that means you still chattel, you still property, you still belong to the European. So called white man. Yes, huh? right. Now, you might not doubt that, but if you can prove to me that you are descendant of Harris, think all of your finance is in his name. All of your property is in his name. When you're coming out of the womb of the gods, they belong to him. Because he gives you what is called it. on that birth certificate is a number, Islam, right. that he make revenues off of you, Islam. Right. Right. You do not question that because you do not know, Islam. Right. You do not know. But to know this and do not change it simply means you either ignorant or you're arrogant, Islam. Right. The more science temple of America, we teach divine creed. Islam, we teach nationality. You must listen when you hear, hear these speakers. You must give a king ear. You must learn to be still. If you're not still, you're going to miss the blessing. Islam, you're going to miss the lesson. Because I'm going to tell you something that that evil spirit is moving. Yes, and it moves on your concentration. Yes, Islam, when it knows you will begin to digest your natural self. It sends something before you to distract you. As long because when you at your best, boom, here comes Satan. As long so what Lamas was getting from Prophet Jesus was a divine measure of who he was. As long a divine statement about creation that no, is no, which is nothing. That man is true, strangely mixed. Yes, sir. Strangely, me. Yes, sir. What that is saying to you and I that within our anatomy makeup there is a carnal self and there is a divine self, Islam. Yes, but wow. somebody knows something more about you than yourself. Islam. Somebody has exploited the soil, the seed of perfect development. They have learned to go into your garden and plant their ideas within your mind, Islam. Now. You have become what is called an artificial Anglo-Saxon. <laughs> Duplicators of the same man that robbed your mother and killed your fathers, killed your babies, read the day, tell you where to farm, wow. tell you where to live. And right. he's from Europe, a squatter. We say this out of love. He's not from here. Where is the Indian? Bring him up in here. We want to see an Indian. How you gonna have the criminal describe his own crime? <laughs> and you believe that dumb junk? That's right. I came over here and I was a pilgrim. <laughs> and I came to civilize the savages. How the uncivilized gonna civilize the uncivilized? <laughs> Talk to me. Teach me. The gift of understanding is the treasure of who? Allah. Well, why do we believe in the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost? You educated brothers and sisters. 
And you know good and well that a ghost means nothing. So you believe in holy nothing. <laughs> then you walk around with a big old cross on your neck. A big old cross on your neck. With a motorcycle hippie on it. I'm not trying to be funny. Okay, you're looking at it for yourself. And you walk around talking about somebody died for your sin. What sin did you commit that Jesus had to go to the cross for? I'm talking about you today. So I beat you to death with this podium. Everybody in your family going to have a podium on your neck? <laughs> and the worst crime is 2,000 years ago. You still crying. 2,000? In agree. You don't even grieve that much about people in your own family that's gone. That's right, bro. Make it real. There's a man you never seen in your entire life. Clapping and swooping and people telling you the walls of Jericho coming down. Yeah, when we tear it down. That Jesus fed the multitude with five loaves of bread and two fishes. Here it is. You ain't getting no more fish and no more bread than this. So, I want to say to my beloved brothers during this annual Asian convention is that we don't learn to represent our ancestors. The worst is yet to come. Yes, Got you running around talking about you believe in the man upstairs. Where's the stairs and where's the man? Think, think without being afraid. Oh, that man, that man I hear now, that man is the devil. Prove it. I'm not knocking anybody. That's right, but our grandmothers and their grandmothers constantly bent over on Sunday morning going to church, still been tricked out of their money with the same old line. And the preacher don't take to the street until something violent happens. That's Thank right. You. That's right. Sucking your dry. Lord, sir. You better run up in the hills so fast that your coat's standing up. Yes, sir. Because one day the door gonna be locked here. That's right. That's right. That's it's right. gonna be just like Noah. Right. They laughed at him when he told us the flood was coming. That's wrong. But when it was all said and done, when the flood came, it said, Noah. No, let us in. What was the reply? I came. What? The angels came and took the keys. That's right. That's right. Oh. Oh, we are telling you, brothers and sisters. Step out here for me. That's right. Get comfortable. Get comfortable. Get comfortable. Listen, we are telling every one of you brothers and sisters in here that the day is coming. That if you don't proclaim your free national name to be recognized by the government in which you live in the nation of the earth, you're going back to the cotton fields. Yes, no. All right, think I'm talking. No. Because the majority of you don't do nothing but get link cards. The more majority of you live in section eight. You know what I'm saying? That man is taking care of you. When your woman go to clinic, he go up in her. You ain't in the room. And you talking about you a man and you govern something. A bunch of granted privileges. So what we need to do is unite on the principles of nationality, birthright, and ancient divine creed. Islam, Islam. we're not talking just to be talking. No, sir. Islam, we're talking to be your behind. Yes, sir. Yeah, I incorporated that one too. Islam, <laughs> and this is time for that. But I say what I say to you because most of y'all sitting up there calling yourself black privilege. This is a black man, and I'm a very dog, bro. A very dark brother. Then you switch and say, I'm African American. Uh -oh. Make up your mind. <laughs> now you're a continent, continent. You're two continents. Then somebody tell you, we're all Americans. <laughs> How many, governor? Three. How many Americans are there? Three. 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 Which one? Islam. And we don't know if America is nothing but a direction. <laughs> I'm gonna say this and then I'm gonna sit down. No, I'm gonna sit down because I'm one of the brothers get in where I fit in. I get up out of there. Yes, ma'am. One thing I can say about Paul Revere, 
when he said the bridge was coming, he kept on going. <laughs> he didn't stop to talk to nobody. He was the message that he brought. He was the message that he brought. And that's my motto. Is love? I want to say this to you, brothers and sisters. We appreciate your presence. Yes, sir. Praise the Lord. But our job is to get you to proclaim who you are. If you still believe in the cowboy service from a man that say Tarzan swung through all the Africa, my God. And only people he can communicate with with animals. <laughs> Them the only one came to the rescue, swinging and beating up every king in Africa. A naked man, him and James, and boy. <laughs> <laughs> we got our work cut out. Yes, huh? What I want to say is always a blessing to demonstrate with my brothers and sisters, but nationality is the order of the day because the people without a nationality, you don't have nothing. Love. Somebody wrote you into the Constitution, sister. Did you know that? Did you know somebody wrote you in the Constitution? They said the 14 and 15 Amendment, which made you free. So if he woke up in the morning, he can write you out of there. That's right. That's right. But now I want to hear about your birthright. Tell me what God, why are we so scared of them? Why when they pull us over, we won't tell them that we move? I'm a move. What you doing having jurisdiction on me? Scared to death downtown, paying them so-called tickets, which are super. Gotta be a suit for permanent damage. You know what I'm saying? Permanent damage. Because when you come out your house, they already tell you right there what you owe them. And you go right down there and pay it. They don't even try to come up with a fight. They don't even know you. <laughs> Make it blind. Jail. You want to put me in jail? That's exactly where I want to go. All them brothers up and up and down. We're going to be talking about a sound. I know you won't get me up out of there. Jail. And you scared to death. Right now, some of you probably scared to death. Come on, come on. Because you don't have the spirit of your ancestors. That man had worked on us so bad it can't go. And this is not racism. That's a game. Yes, sir. Racism. Only between us and them. We gave you what you got, champ. And I mean that. Standing on my sweat, champ. Because you don't belong here. Can I come in your house, bro? You got a house, right? Where you live. Your domicile, right? Where you live at, right? Where you get your, your domicile. That's yes, right. sir. That's another level, another level of consciousness. Yes, I'm talking about the consciousness that we fit it in right now. Our people. We actually believe that a dead man is going to come back and save you. Save you from what? <laughs> then you contradict it. When you come out of church, you tell me you saved. From what? <laughs> you ever been baptized? You? What happened then? <laughs> I usually don't do this. They know this. This is strange to them. That's my style. This is his <laughs> But it works. It's love. What happened after you got baptized, bro? What's something in your life? Well, I've been blessed. You've been blessed. Did you lie after you got baptized? Well, uh, just tell the truth. I, I can't I can't say that. I ain't gonna lie. Right. I'm a you know, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a special. I ain't thinking on you either, bro. Yes, sir. You just look like a brother to ask a question. Yes, sir. Uh, we know what happened after we got baptized. We went to the 50 yard line. We still stepped in the name of love. We still cheat. We still stole. That's right. We still gave, right? That's right. You know what I'm saying? And we drunk not Morgan Davis. Let's well, go a little hot. What about some 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 sequels? <laughs> Extra dry. <That's> right. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you, my brothers and sisters, for letting me demonstrate what life is always a privilege and honor. I want to give out to our leader too. Um, if he can only see what we're doing, man, and I know he does, as well as the governor and the rest of the officials. If we can only see what we're doing, man, we know the laws in our corner. There we go. All those temples we talk about, those are brothers and sisters. That's right, man. Uh, and in a minute, we're going to need 16 secretaries because if we can believe, they're going to be at that door. And we're going to have to go somewhere else. So proclaim your nationality. All right, right. Yes, All right sisters. First of all, I want to give gratitude to all the people who are here tonight. Brother, very grateful to them. Thank you for coming. 
family divide and I feel like more than that. So I'm gonna call up the beloved. Slow. Slow. Somebody ride and give our leader a, a nice hand. Successors of the prophet's movement. Islam. The vast estate of which we speak belongs to you all. Yes, it don't belong to me, any of the sheep you see standing here, right. or any other sheep. This is your birthright. Right. Right. This Islam. belongs to you. You know what I'm saying? In law, there are two ways that you can inherit something. One is called just sanguinis. That means the right of blood. The other is just sole. That means the right of soil. Both of these belong to you. It is your land not only because of the soil, but because of birth. It's not? It's not. My staff. Some of the hardest working brothers and sisters I know. They really do. Wow. I mean, they extend themselves far beyond, as I teach, what is humanly possible. To be a sheik, you can't be a man. You have to be a god. That's why we teach that man and the law are one and about the deific life of man. So that we can return back to the God state so we can do God stuff again. Just to make it simple and plain, when you're a God, you do God stuff. Right, When you're a mortal, you do mortal stuff. Islam. Mortals are subjugated. God's running. Islam? Islam. I don't want us to be confused about that. So I just want to acknowledge them. I really do. I mean, they work hard day and night. I mean, y'all have no idea. You know, the phone calls, they get people here, some people cancel. But what we did in the meeting was, so you know, we broke up the state into sections, into regions, and, a lot, and, and separated and put a governor over each region so we can pull the temples back together. So what we intended to do was just like with a needle and thread, like one of my favorite poets, his name is Saul Williams, and he said something that I never forgot. He said, my relationship seemingly falling apart at the scene, but our grandparents were both seamstresses for a reason. See, it's very important that someone come and sew back up the Moorish Science Temple of America. Mm. Unite Asia again. Yeah. So that the collapsed hands that are on all of our documents is not an illusion, but is, a, is, is what chapter 25 says. You understand? In chapter 25, it says, Ye have the children of one father mm -hmm. provided for his kids, and the breast of one mother has given you suck. Now, how many people have brothers and sisters? Raise your hand. How many people... Leave your hand up if you always agree with your brother or sister. Nobody in the room for the record. For the camera say has their hand up. You know what I'm saying? So there's gonna be differences. But we're here to knock off those rough edges so that the rough ashla becomes the perfect ashla. 
And if this movement grows to what it's supposed to be, you understand? To the brothers who came a very, very, very long way. Islam to you. You came all the way from Canada to be here. And I'm so thankful. And we're going to work and make Canada, which is actually anciently called Canaan land by the people. So I may walk to the map. The portion that the brothers came from is the Holy Land of Canaan. That's all. See, a lot of times we believe that the things that took place on this side of the earth took place over here when in actuality they took place over here. Yes, sir. Like they teach us that the cradle of civilization is here, but the ancient Moors taught us that the cradle of civilization was right here. Yes, you understand? Know so what they did was just flip the whole script, change the map, change the dates, and then there was something called electrochemical for the cam camera sec. I know a lot of y'all have heard this. In 1863, between 1863 and 1865, there was something called Lex Prohibitum. And what Lex Prohibitum was, was the Catholic Church said that all of these books had to be destroyed. None of these books could exist. So what they did was have the great book burn. You understand? And destroyed all of the real records. That's why we picked up a more powerful tool. And the most powerful tool in the hands of a man who knows how to yield it is called the power to define. When you have seized the power to define, there is no greater weapon than that. No one can tell you who you are. They can no longer pull that board over here. Tell you that you're a Negro. Something dead, but as well as something dead, the prophet has taught us that the Negro is a four legged beast. As well. The 102s don't say what the 101 says. The 102 says that the Negro is a four legged beast. And when you do a little research, you find out that there was an experiment that took place along the Yucatan Peninsula. And there was a being that was created there who had. Red fur or hair and green eyes. How many people are familiar with the Yucatan Peninsula? Not that many. Down that way. <laughs> South America, mm -hmm. right? He was called the Negro Arabo. Have y'all ever heard of that before? No. It's a monkey. That's what they called y'all. Then they said, well, you know what? No, y'all are black. <laughs> See, and then the prophet said that black to the Moors, according to the science, means death. No, no. See, they're killing us with words. Words are in actuality not words. Words are spells. They take words and cast spells on us. You understand? Mm -hmm. And then they teach us so that we don't think for ourselves. How many college students are there in the room? How many people went to college? Raise your hand. I want to use somebody as a, 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 a guinea camel. Is that okay? <laughs> Who can I use? Raise your hands again to go to, to college. My brother, may I? Okay. Just stay where you are. This is really like PhD what I'm about to ask you. You ready? Ready. This PhD level now. Okay. Say your ABC. <laughs> The same, you know, hope for eight days. Oh, yeah, there's a little ABCD, and on PQRST, we That is great. <laughs> and if I was a professor, I would give you a diploma. Uh, Say it backwards. I can't. <laughs> Why? Because I wasn't taught backwards. It was wrong. Right. But you went to college. Right. Mm. Mm. Who else went to college? <laughs> you got your hand up, more? May I use you? The more, not touch you more, baby. The more funny. May I use you, brother? Okay, can you stand up? You went to college. Okay. Yeah, you're in college. It's okay if I use you. Okay, good. Spell spot. This is a bachelor's of science level. Spell spot. S -B -O -T. Spell spot. S -B -O -T. Spell spot, my man. S -B -O -T. Good. Spell spot. S -B -O -T. When you get to a green light, what do you do? Okay. 
<laughs> what I'm saying, thank you, Pastor. Okay, thank you, Bob. What I'm saying is that it's the mind that I mean we've been trained, but not so a master had to come. That's the reason we're having this 80th convention. 80 years ago, a master came. He touched down on these shores. Allah's love thought made manifest. And his name is Noble Drew Ali. He is a thought of Allah made manifest. He came to make a proclamation to you. Come all ye Asiatics of North America and hear of your nationality and your birthrights. Black. Black according to science means death. Brother, what's your last name? May I use you? No, sir. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm not mad. I'm going to keep moving. Ma'am, yes, your last name? I want to make a point. Man, we, <coughs> without even knowing, allowing someone else to tell us that we were these things black and I didn't even get the color yet. Brother, brother Moss, man, yes, do you know that if your great great grandfather's name was Moss and there was an estate established by him and he left it for you, the only name that would be privy to it was one that would be connected with Moss. You understand what I mean? Yes, I don't know how many people in the room are students of law even understand what probate is. How many people know what probate is? There is a, a right because of your connection by blood to Grandpa Moss. But there's nothing for us as a people to inherit under those brands. Those are brand names. Those are names of the colonial possessors. You'll never meet a Chinese man named Larry Jackson. No, sir. Not gonna no, sir. You'll never meet a uh, uh, an Irishman named Kwame Nkrumah. No, sir. We are the only people who have names that don't belong to us. Those are brands. Those are the names of the colonial possessors. I love my grandpa John D. Ben. I like my uncle teachers too. But they didn't have the knowledge of who they were. If they had a knowledge of who they were, they would have returned back to the ancestral line and had them inherit what it was that they had coming. Because if we go in under those names, the only thing that we can inherit is death. The only thing that we have to inherit is slavery. There is nothing for you to inherit under something that does not belong to you. If you are not an ill, they, they, Al, or Ali, these are the names. These are the titles to the people who are the true land barons, the true landowners. And though they may have a mortgage on property that does not belong to them, that's fraud. And in actuality, I don't know if y'all know this or not, but according to the commercial law, the uniform commercial uh, codified law, fraud is not illegal. You understand? The only time the fraud becomes becomes illegal is when you challenge it. So if you never challenge it, it's not fraud. So this movement was committed to returning the Moors back to the state from which the Moors left. Because of slavery and disobedience and following after the gods of Europe, who we knew nothing of, mm -hmm. we were divested of our name. But it says today, this is a new era of time now. And all men now must proclaim their free national name to be recognized by the government in which they live and the nations of the earth. You understand? It is not until that happens that the actual uh, shift from the squatter man running it to the true owner running it. The prophet told us that white. For the record, color means a semblance of something. Something that's not something painted, stained, dyed, or varnished. A table. 
How many people in the room's grandfather was a table? So why do we choose these names that delude to slavery? They don't delude to freedom. They don't delude to liberty. So why do we take on these names? It's a million marks. Fine, fine. Did I beat these all up like that? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, that's all now, I want to explain quickly what this is about. How many people are here for the first time? Raise your hand. Quick. How many are there? A lot of people are here for the first time. Quickly, what this movement is about. <laughs> Nineteen thirteen AD, no one really touches the shores. In New York, New Jersey, and founds an organization called the Old Canaanite Church. He picked up where the Freedman Bureau left off, returning those free persons. To use that word pre-defining of the word person. Those free beings, those free national beings, back to the state of which. Uh, they were divested of, of what it was that they had. That is their nationality, birthright, divine creed, flag, seal, the things that make up a nation, even the land. So I was talking to the brothers from Canaan land about the uh, uh, Bustamante meeting of private international law that took place in Havana, Cuba, and the prophet there. So this, this is my challenge to those Moors who say that the prophet Noble Drali was a, um, no, no. completely religious, that his movement was a completely religious movement. No, the protection that we were under is religious protection, right? But it's a divine and a national movement. See, the divine and national means divine. You and the creator of all the worlds are one. All right, we got that part down. You're God's and God contradiction. And unless the European can change your descended nature line, nothing can change that. But salvation. The whole earth is yours. Right. You're the land baron. There is no other landlord or land baron on the earth except for you. Everybody else is squatters. This man, excuse me, is not indigenous to any particular land mass. Not even Europe. Not even Rome. Because the Etruscans came long before him. You follow me? We use students of history, you know what I'm saying. You understand? Now I want to open it up for questions. We don't have a lot of time. We're going to make it work. Is it over? okay if we go over? No. No. All right. We're going to make it work. We, I'm not going to take too much of the time. But I'm going to, okay? Questions? Let's make it fast. Yes, my brother. Uh, when you stated that uh, uh, fraud is not illegal, that you challenge it. Yes, sir. <clears throat> Somebody said, give an example of that. Give an example of it. Good question. An example of it is: Do you own a visa? Visa card. Yes, sir. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. When they gave you the visa, <coughs> did you ever see any dollars? No. So what did they loan you? Nothing. <laughs> so why did you pay them? <laughs> See, fraud is this. The fiat the fiat dollars, the green, the green ones. Right. With the, with those dead European presidents. Is not money. According to Article 1, Section 10 of the US Constitution, money is gold and silver. That's it. Anything else is not money. The prophet said gold and silver commerce belong to the citizens and the citizens alone. You understand? He also told us that money doesn't make a man. The free national standards and power that make a man in a nation. Free national standards and power. That means the institutions that we build, the things that we build from our from our minds, 
to educate our babies so that they can say their ABCs backwards. You understand? And understand what they do when they get to a green light. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> See, your signature on that, yeah, that, that's the money. Your signature created the, the, the money. I'm using money, but I know what money means, and y'all know I know what money means. Y'all translate my words, please. Money is gold and silver. I know that they didn't say this is because you didn't get an e e card e gold card. Right? Right. No. Right. So that's wrong, but unchallenged. But if you challenge it, they'll go away. You never loan me any money. You loan me credit and charge you interest usury. You, you, you understand what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like mortgages. I don't want to usually when I start talking about mortgages, there'd be a lot of mortgage questions. Like our people is like. The number one on the foreclosure list. <laughs> no, seriously, we need to where that can cease to be. For those who don't know, means a dead pledge. You know what I mean? And what happens is there's there are two things that happens at a closing. Where's the Where's the okay? Good. When I mess up, help me, okay? All right. They give you a. Promissory note, Islam. and there's a uh, another document. It's called um, something else. <laughs> no. <laughs> Always forget this. Okay, let me explain it really easy because I can't remember what the, what the thing is. It's a trick. <laughs> they take the money and walk away from the table. Once you sign, the house is paid for. But they tell you that they keep the original, that thing you signed, that's the money. They keep that and they circulate that man. They making money. They sell that from mortgage company to mortgage company to bank to bank right. to bank. You understand what I mean? More, the whole thing is a scam. There is no money. There is no money. America has 1933. See, that's why a wise man, Noble Ali, flew the flag upside down because he understood that America was insolvent. It's bankrupt. They don't have any money. No gold and silver. When America was first created, it was called Virginia. They created their own revenue, and it was called script. And they will. But they did away with script, came in with something else until they created this central banking system. They created it under something called the Aldrich Act. And I thought a book called The Creature from Jekyll Island. And in the book, The Creature from Jekyll Island, they explain how Woodrow Wilson snuck in this Aldrich, Aldrich Act when all of the senators and congresspersons were ready to go home. None of them was there. It was all away for New Year's or Christmas or some holiday. What was it? That. <laughs> they met off the coast of Savannah, Georgia, on an island, a very uh, exclusive island, Jekyll Island, and created the Federal Reserve Banking System. And because they called themselves Federal Reserve, the people were duped into believing that the federal government owns the Federal Reserve when it doesn't. The Federal Reserve is held by private international banksters. You understand? This whole thing sits and rotates on the foundation of nothing you believe in your mind is true. Almost 99.9% .9 of everything they ever told you was a lie. Yes, sir. Even where you're standing, this is Africa. They told us that Africa is over there. This is Africa right here. The prophet told us that this is a maximum, the ancient Moroccan Empire, the northwestern and southwestern shores of Africa, right here. Right. 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 The land of the Moors. Everything from Canada to Argentina is the land of the Moors. I told y'all about a movie called The Celestine Prophecy. How many people have seen it? I know it was a book. I know it was a movie. It's a movie. I, I have it. I might have some in the back. In the Celestine Prophecy, two Europeans are on the road. They're going up this beautiful hill. The mountains of Peru are beautiful. And they say, well, you know, we're on our way to the land that's been in this guy's family for thousands of years. And it deals with 
the Moors, and Spanish land grants. Blew us away when we first heard that. As well. Not that we need any support for what the prophets about. We told us. That's right. Because everything he's told us has come to fruition. As well. You understand? All of it has come to pass. All of it. And if it hasn't caught up yet, it will. That's right. Question. Yes. Yeah. So you said his country been <clears throat> bankrupt since 1933. Yes, sir. So <laughs> no matter how much money I earn. Oprah, Bill Gates. It doesn't mean a thing. They don't have money either. Right. <laughs> money is gold and silver. Gold and now silver. they may take their fiat dollars and buy gold and silver. Uh -huh. I know they probably have. They probably don't have gold and silver. They probably have diamond mines. Diamond. They probably have gold mines. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. yeah, they're a little bit more high tech. Okay. But no matter how much you amass, this system is still created by the Federal Reserve. They print the money. And they money is not the only way to deal with things. They have negotiable instruments. You know what I mean? There's a lot of different promissory notes. They have various ways to deal with debt. Because the only thing that you can do after I got to be the only thing that you can do after 1933 is discharge debt. Look on a dollar. It says for what? Yeah. You pass on one debt instrument on from one person to the next. You haven't you haven't gave anything of substance to them because it's not backed by gold or silver. There was a time when across that Fiat dollar, it said gold or silver certificate, but it don't even say that no more. It says right. Federal Reserve no. The reason I ask that question because no matter what we do in that circle, we'll never be free to continue to go through the cycle. No. Mm -hmm. Yes, if we don't do what our plan was last night. A lot of y'all should have been here last night when we, well, you got the men who were here. And if we step out of their system, like, what is it that you do, my brother? Uh, sell cars, the real estate. Sell cars. Now, guess what? <coughs> How many people are in the room? Now, I know y'all are more. Y'all don't have cars. Y'all got conveyances. <laughs> but how many people know that they may need a car one day? Good. Excuse me, my brother. That's a suit you have on, right? Right. Where's Dr. Rock? Do you make suits? All right. For his cars, will you barter with him for suits? Would you vice versa? Yeah. That's what we got. We got to step outside of his normal system and do things differently than we've been doing. Yes, we can't continue to keep perpetuating the same thing because we'll get the same results. Right. And that's insanity. We got to do something completely and totally different. You know, Marcus Garvey said, two is not, not even good enough for us. That's created for Europeans, by Europeans, for Europeans. They didn't have you in the, in the thought. You weren't even a part of the proletariat. You was what the proletariat stand on. Yes. You know, uh, a lot of people don't understand the mortgage Yes, sir. You asked me, and I, I was interviewed. The gentleman asked me a question. He said, "Might have had. Have you ever bought a home No. What was the interest rate? Six percent. He got excellent credit. <laughs> See, that's why they fool you. They take your. You think your interest rate is six percent? Dollar amount, or you get six percent off a hundred thousand dollars more. But in thirty years, you're going to get two hundred fifty thousand dollars. They can't get it going. I mean, you know, and it's legal. So you know what I do? I teach a lot of real estate courses, and I teach people. So all the way, you, like you said earlier, it's free. you got to figure out to get figure out a way to get out there uh, manipulate the system. Because, you know, most people say, oh, man, I'm paying 10%. No, if you're really paying 100%. If you end up that time, so yeah. you know, that come out 100% interest. We need the system. Like you said, you got to never work hard. And I teach people to encourage, I encourage people to have property. That's the only way you can get around these systems. You go open up clothing stores. You go open up catalog. They got people, they, you know, they people's all over, all downtown. So, real estate is the most valuable thing in our community. So, if you don't, they don't talk to a degree where we can't even reach it. Right? So, if you don't hear about the bad real estate, you can keep that a real estate. I and mean, that's the last market that we got to survive with. And that's much market. Unless we create a market called Because I Love You, Brother Mark, I'm going to do this with you. Just because I love you. And because you look like me. Oh, that's right. You know what I mean? I tell a story because I have a friend who's an attorney. 
and he was the, the attorney of an era who opened up a Horizon grocery store in Skokie. My brothers who are here from Canaan land, Canada. You ain't never heard of Skokie before, but that's the all Jewish community in the northwestern suburbs. I don't know if you know how Jews feel about Arabs, but if you catch a drawing on what's going on, you know what I'm talking about. But when he opened this, this Horizon grocery store, the first day nobody came in, the second day nobody came in, the third day nobody came in, the fourth day nobody came in, the fifth day nobody, he closed his store on the fifth day. <coughs> See, if we support each other and pull our dollars out from supporting him, then I can empower you, I can empower you, I can empower you, I can empower you, and we can empower other people, right? New concept. And the concept I want us to adopt that we all for and by each other. Let's try it. We live for, of, and by each other. We live for, of, and by each other. Now, I know y'all are soul people, so we're going to try to get this with some rhythm. <laughs> we live for, of, and by each other. Thank you. It's a little Jamaican swing. <laughs> See, what I'm saying is this. For our survival, we're going to need each other. We have to become interdependent. We need a declaration of Morris interdependence. In this book called The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People, the first principle in the book is called win-win. No, no, excuse me. Begin with the end in mind. Begin with the end in mind. When we start something, we already have the, have the, have the outcome already in our mind. What it will be. You understand? The second principle is think win-win. When I do business with you, brother, and when I do business with you, brother, and with you, and you, and you, and you, it's got to be win-win. Nobody can lose when we do for each other. And if we live for, of, and by each other, we should do away with class systems. That's something that the European created. He can eliminate class systems. To print a Federal Reserve note, it costs less than eight cents. What he said? Three cents. <coughs> Federal Reserve note. God, you, can end, you can end poverty, boy. There are only three basic necessities. That's food, clothing, and shelter. Once we get that, nobody can tell us anything. What it is, is something I learned from a friend of mine from Mali, that they keep us so distracted by the, the cares of the world that we never have time to really focus on what's important. I mean, you're thinking about the rent, the mortgage, you're thinking about the lights, the gas, the phone. You're thinking about, I mean, I, my lawyer friend said 90% of all marriages in in divorce and the basis of the divorce is always finance wow. you understand what i mean we got to produce enough have enough to be able to do for ourselves and our posterity and the only way we can do that is that we have to do business with each other you understand now i know and everybody's not a business person be. the creator has given each one of us a gift you know and we have to use our gift to uplift Mankind, and I don't mean the kind of a man, y'all know what I mean. Humanity, that's that. The uplift for humanity, all right? That's what he gave you the charge for. It's not for you. Like I told y'all last night, the greatest of all the secrets is the one that you give away. There's nothing that can be done with a secret. The moors are the revealers of the light, not the concealers of the light. So it would behoove us not to tell and teach everything that we possibly know. The, um, What's up, my Question for you. Yeah. Um, dealing with the prophecy. Yeah. Um, exactly where can I find the prophecies that Noble Riley laid out? Got them on the table. That's good. One of them is that in the year 2000, according to the Gregorian calendar, that the Moors would come unto their own. That's what he said. He said it wouldn't be until this time that the Moors saw the good of his work. That the Moors during that time, prior to that, would not see what he had done. But the Moors in the third and fourth generation, they recognized the goodness. Of him. And we are here to extend the learning, to take what the Prophet Noah Jali came and brought us into the next millennium. Yes, you follow me? 
We need to plan at least 500 years in advance, Lord. As long. If the European is planning 500 years in advance, we need to plan 500 uh -huh. years in advance. Right. You understand? Like My youngest daughter, when she came out of the womb as an artist, so I nurtured it. I buy her stuff to do art. I mean, she had all this art stuff stacked all under the bed and paint she collected since she was one and she's seven now. So you can imagine how much art work that she the nurture what it is that you know what I mean? That's what we have to do. The prophet taught us a seed is as perfect from the source from which it comes. Did I did I yeah, the back? Oh, well, also said that in those 50 years, 50 years later, you'll never know who you That's right. I'm going to tell you a story about a brother who's a friend of mine who lives in Gary, Indiana, one of the, the more. Last year in February, they referred to that as Black History Month. And his daughter did a report, a book report on the prophet, Noble Drive. And I've told some of y'all this story before, but I'm doing this for the sake of the project. Her mother put on her turban and went to the school the next day. You understand? We have to keep the profit out front. That's right. That's right. See, the prophet said that without him being the head of this movement, that it wouldn't go anywhere. No, 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 you understand? No. He's the head of the more science of America. No, no, no. And what he also told us is that this is the only sole foundation for us Asiatics in America. And in the. All right? Uh, question. I want to acknowledge that more who just made that statement. Because I was coming from one of my vegetarian food runs, and, and the more was crossing the street, and a lot of moors don't make it to their meetings. And that more has a walker. He's on a walker. You don't mind if I do that, but you do. You don't even have to stand up, Mo, but you can if you want to. That mo, I saw the mo get off a bus. We pulled the conveyance over to let the mo get in the car with us, but we had the brothers from Canada that was packed. I said, I'm going to send a car back down here to get you. The mo said, no, come on, don't worry about it. I'm fine. I said, mo, he said, no, don't worry about bus right there. I'm going to make my meat. You got people who live right here who have more than one conveyance. Come on, come on. Don't come. And that mo came on a walker. There's love. I'm asking those moors. I want a letter to go out to ask them to return their cars, buttons, and feds. They return to the state in which the prophet found them. If that brother can get here on a walker, there's no excuse for anybody else to get here. Right. If you're committed to your movement, then come to your meetings. Bring, bring what it is that you have. You have to lay on the altar of the creator what it is that he's given you for the betterment of our people. If not, we're going to lose, Mo. Islam? It's a true soldier for Ali and Allah. Question. When did uh, Marcus Garvey, um, when and where can I find the foretelling of the coming of Noah Raleigh by Marcus Garvey? By Marcus Garvey? In the philosophies and opinions, in race first, in, um, what's the little blue one? Of course, in African philosophy, a message to the people. In, in race first, and in, uh, the philosophies and opinions, he talks about what the religion of the UNIA is and his word, the religion of the Negroes in America was and throughout the diaspora, the diaspora. He said that the religion of, of those people was Islam. That's all the foretelling we need. I don't know, nor have I seen any records where he spoke his name. I know that they met each other. You understand? I can't say that there's anything in writing where I saw Noble Drawley's name and Marcus Garvey said Noble Drawley was to come. No, I've never seen that. I'm, I'm not, I don't do that. Okay. You understand? Yes. But, 
we have to bring biblical ideas up to today. Right. He was the John the Baptist to Jesus. As well. He came and prepared the way. He made the proclamation. He said, stand up, you mighty race. <laughs> That's right. You can accomplish what you will. Right. He called us Rip Van Winkle, said we were asleep. He came and told us, and we built institutions because of what he taught. And Noble Ali came, and he put the nails in the coffin. Rome's coffin, not yours. You understand? See, they both had what was important for you. They both had the divine mandate. Something that could take us from being what we were being branded as to who we really are. They both had that. So you, you can't really have one without the other or even separate their work. I, I apologize for not acknowledging the forerunner for the prophet, Marcus Mosiah Garvey. Because if he hadn't come and made his proclamation before him, then I don't know if we would have heard the prophet's voice. Huh? Questions that come to mind. Last couple of minutes. It's not, we don't know what page it is, but it messes to the people. Marcus Garvey made a statement that the so called Negro needs a nationality, uh -huh. but he never taught nationality. So, making that statement, he was foresight. I mean, there will be one come out to him. Mm -hmm. He was not even worried about the child. I know it. That's all. all right, let's get busy. <laughs> I'm gonna go ten more minutes. Is that okay? Y'all okay? Y'all okay? okay? The prophet said that every word I speak is what? Spirit. Spirit. And you more need to hear. So these are my words. All right. Very, very quickly. The culmination of all efforts of the UNIA. When I say UNIA, I want you to take UNIA out. Because we are Negroes and put MST of in, Islam. I want you to put the Morris Divine and National Movement in, Islam. The culmination of all efforts of the UNIA must end in Negro independent nationalism, Moorish nationalism, on the continent of Africa. That is to say, everything must contribute towards the final of down. No race is free until it has a strong nation of its own, its own system of government, its own order of society. Never give up this idea. Let no one persuade you against it. It is the only protection of your generations and your race. Hold on to the I government and nation so as long as other men have them. How many people in the room know that other men have a nation? Mm. Good. 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 Don't exist, Mom. Do we have a flag? No, sir. <laughs> Never be satisfied to always live under the government of other people because you show at their mercy. Visualize for yourself and your children and generations, unborn of the race, of your race, your own king, your own emperor, your own president, your own government officials and administrators who look like you. Islam? Uh -huh. God never could have intended to make you look as you look and as you are and make your kings, president, emperors, and rulers different from you. This was not be a license for you to disobey the laws of the kings of other races or rulers of other races while you live under their control. But you must always seek and work for a government of your own. Absolutely where you and your children will have a chance like anybody else in the state. Derives from the lowest to the highest position, which you may not attain under other government. But while you live under alien governments, this is an alien government. <laughs> and your citizenship rights, but always having a view doing something to make it possible that your race can have a nation and a government of its own. Speak of this, dream of this, work unceasingly for this, but never forget this, for this is the great work of the Morris Science Temple. Sound? Never think that if Japan gained control of the world that they would treat you better than the Anglo-Saxon or the Latin. 
Don't think that if the Chinese get control of the world, your position will be better. Nor the Indians. All other races and nations will use you just as the same, as slaves and underdogs. Islam. Your only protection, therefore, is to have your own. Don't encourage the Moors to join Japanese movement. I told y'all, I saw they have a St. Patrick's Day parade. And St. Patrick's Day is when the Moors, when the Moors were expelled from Ireland. They talked about the snakes being cast out, right? And I saw some Asiatics with leprechaun suits on and green hats. Hey, like that was for them. Explain thoroughly. Boy, this is too much. Get free. Islam. Islam. Stay free. Islam. Islam. Dream of it. Islam. Islam. Work for it. Islam. 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 Last one. Go ahead. I just, okay, this, this is good. I just want to show some gratitude, you know, first to the Allah Father of the universe. His, uh, I brought for you, Ali. And, and to you, Mo, and, and your staff, because, uh, you know, I, I'm only child, Mo. And my mom, she's staying in a different state for me. So coming to draw with the most is, is really, you know, more oh, gratitude, Mo. You know, I got some place to go, Mo, and, and, you know, be with family and, and, and love, you know, because, you know, so, you know, you miss that when you're away from home. Mo. So, you know, I just want to show home, gratitude. I just want to show gratitude and man, I, I love y'all. You know, y'all my family, y'all my brothers, sisters, uncles. Uh, you know what I'm saying, man? I love y'all, man. Yeah. Hey, 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 one last question. Can I squeeze one in that? Go ahead, man. Real quick. Where did the term Asiatic come from and how, and how does that refer to that? The term Asiatic is a term that was given to the whole. It's a word that comes from Arabic. You know? But as well, it's a, a, a very, very ancient word. The word Asiatic is defined as. Uh, look at my black guy. My, my black guy. Asian, the whole world was called Absolutely. Who was that still on my thumb? More black. <laughs> Absolutely. At one time, the whole planet Earth was called Asia. This is what one of our scholars said. Jose Pimentovet, a brilliant brother. I'm going to read what he says. Asiatic is the term which the temple members use to collectively define African slash Asian peoples. Members will say that Asia was the name of the whole Earth in ancient times. Which it, was. it was called Asia. Some called it, there was a portion, it was, when it was split up, it was called Asia Sur by the old maps and Asia New. Right? However, Asiatic is most commonly thought by non-members to inclusively only the people and cultures of the present Asian continent. The etymology of the root word Asia is traceable to the Akkadian, which was an ancient Semitic language, and the culture of Mesopotamia, a, re a region occupied by people of Western Asia and East Africa. The term actually means to go out from or to rise. All right. Which book is that book? This is Othello, Children of the Moors in the New World by Dr. Jose from Get it. Make sure you get a copy. Children of the it's a part of the Moors Survival Kit. Othello, Othello, Children of the Moors, what was that again? In the New World. Okay. Dr. Jose from Yoel got some. Did he leave? Gratitude. Mm -hmm. yeah. No problem. Moors, I love y'all. We're going to close it out. I need the law. We're going to read the law, we're going to get out of here. This is going to be the fastest to close out y'all ever seen in y'all life. <laughs> How many people know that tomorrow we're going to have the Moorish Ball right here? Right? That'll be right here tomorrow at 6 o'clock. How many people are going to be present? Raise your hand. We're going to get it free. What time? Um, yourselves and Moroccan wear. So Moroccan wear, if you have it, if you don't have it. We are asking for a donation of food. We had to cater the food, so whatever you contribute, we ask for a $10 free will offering. If you don't have it, that don't mean don't come, still come. Huh? Everybody can, everybody has to wear rock and wear except the one who likes a hobby, I guess. <laughs> Whatever it is, he's coming last week.
if you have the runs that you can turn those back, please, <laughs> the secretary then is complaining about the guys out there retired. Right? I'm going to bargain with seven of them. Seven of them. Okay. Please, you know, just, uh, <laughs> What's that door down? Yeah, okay. That's fifty of the hospital. Yeah, absolutely. I want to acknowledge these two young brothers in the front. Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Looking very more. I'm holding you live. See, this is what I'm talking about. More thought. We got to define what looked good. That's right. We can't let other people tell us what looked good. Yes, right. You know what I mean? It was a time. When, it was a time when we used to go and have our clothes tailored. Now they give us multiple choice. That means that they put stuff on the rack and we choose from what they give us. This is Please be still. All right. No, no, let me stay. Just stay. Act one. The Grand Secret Chairman of the Morris Science Temple of America is how to make law and enforce law with the assistance of profit America. The assistant grand sheik is for assistant grand sheik in all affairs we live according to love, truth, peace, and justice. And is an over for the members of the more scientific of America. Act two. All meetings are to be open and closed promptly according to circuit seven and love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice. Fridays are only there at rest because on the Friday the first man was formed in flesh, and on the Friday the first man departed out of flesh and the of the his father died in love. So that caused Friday the holy day for all Muslims all over the world. Act three, love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice must be proclaimed and practiced by all members of the more scientific of America. No members to put in danger, accused falsely his brother or sister on any occasion at all that may harm his brother or sister because of God's love. Act 4. All members must preserve these holy and divine laws, and all members must obey the laws of the government, because by being a Moorish American, you are part and a parcel of the government, and must live the life accordingly. Act 5. This organization of the Moorish Science of America is not to cause any confusion or to overthrow the law and constitution of the said government must obey hereby. Act 6. With us, all members must proclaim their free national pardon. <laughs> With us, all members will proclaim their nationality. And we are teaching our people their nationality and their divine creed that they may know that they are people of it. Know that they are not Negroes, colorful black people, and you know, Because these names were given to slaves by slaveholders in 1779 and lasted until 1865 during the time of slavery. But this is a new era of time now. And all men now must proclaim their free national name, recognized by the government in which they live and the nations of the earth. This is the reason why Allah, the great man, knows where I'll leave the prophet, to redeem his people from their sinful ways. The Moorish Americans are the descendants of the ancient Moabites, who inhabited the North Shore of Africa. Act 7. All members must promptly attend their meetings to become a part and a parcel of all of the acts of Moorish Science of America. Members must pay their dues and keep in line with the Moorish Science of America. Then you are entitled to the faith. Members must pay their dues and keep in line with all necessities of the Moorish Science of America. Then you are entitled to the name of faith. Husband, you must support your wife and children. Wife, you must support your husband to take care of the children and look after the duties of your household. Sons and daughters must obey father and mother and be industrious. And become part of the uplifting of fallen humanity. All Moorish Americans must keep their hearts and minds through love, their bodies clean with divine covenant from the Holy Prophet. Don't we draw a lead through the guidance of his father God Allah. Huh? No. No. It's not more. It's not more about the prophet that would do probably proper to order the proclamation of each leader. Everybody for all members, they must end all right to agitate his speech to their own side of the street. We have a piece of that structure. Without flashing the crowd of European cause your prize for your salvation. There's no pity on this and this consequence. We have to look at each of the justice. Any member of the movement is the only support for a child. By divine friend of the more you will be seated in the world. I just be all true more good and listen to the Lord's way down to them by their property. And lose confidence in their conscience and their car. But these minds interpret the faith. Return to speak out. This is only divine. You are late. Therefore, it's not divine. 
to their own protected constitution. This is the everlasting movie found by the prophet in the world of Allah. We give you the future. Uh, the most important portion of the meeting for those who have never proclaimed their nationality, this is the time for which you can do it. This is a very, very important time. Um, and I do it simply by saying what I always say. Right? I'm going to keep saying it because it's simple. My daughter can understand. She can keep it in her class. She can take it to show it there. It's if the shepherd is from Germany, the poodle's from France, the pit bull, he's a Yorkshire Terrier, you mean to tell me that those dogs have a nationality, but a human being does not. Human being is Negro, Black, colored, and Ethiopian. And that too. And anything else they come up with us. How can we possibly be black? Black is an adjective. There's a way to describe something like the color of the crayon. There's no flag or land or people called the black people that don't exist. As long. You know what I'm saying? No black land, no Negro color. As long. Then, for a little divine comedy and humor, if I may borrow to you, even the cake, the German chocolate cake got a nationality. As long. The fries, they from France. The muffin is from England. As long. Who? Where's the sprout from? your <laughs> Come up and see our secretary. Our national treasure, he's going to raise his election. Come up and see our secretary and proclaim your nationality. It's not what? It's not what? Why did they take it away? The Robert said it takes finance to have the information. Um, but we we always ask you to come out and um uh, and donate what you can. And um uh, we ask for you tonight, uh, since we are wearing a down convention. If you are too much on your dues, what we really want is to so we have close to 50 or 60 people in here tonight. 62. 62. If we had a donation of at least $10 for each person, we would gather up at least $620. And that would uh, go towards uh, paying for the costume ball tomorrow night and, and aid and assistance in everything that needs to be done uh, within the movement. Uh, so and we don't think $10 is a lot to donate, especially when don donation means do for your nation. So, uh, please come up and uh, contribute to the public collection, the emergency fund, the, uh, the sick fund, as well as your due. Uh, if you want to contribute to our ID machine, we have an ID machine donation box as well. Uh, so we can start uh, issuing ID to all the more American animals. It is one of the most, uh, uh, don't leave, but we want to get up. Is that right? Like we open the gap. Announcement. For those who don't know, Friday is the holiday meeting. Every Friday. Sunday is the Sunday school meeting, Sunday class. That's the class where you get deprogrammed from the food of the week. Wednesday, I'm jumping there. Tuesday is the civics class. That's the day that we deal with civics, nationality, law, commercial law, stuff like that. Wednesday, Wednesday is the Quran class. That's every other Wednesday in the Quran class. You need to be everywhere. Then, Thursday is introduction to more science class. Okay? Saturday is the health day. We deal with health and business opportunities on Saturday. As well, we're going to squeeze in a more conscious movie night. All right? Monthly. For the monthly. Monday will be your regular schedule monthly train. Oh, that is what happens on Monday. On Mondays, we train old warriors. We don't call them soldiers. Why not? Hey, Monty. Hey, Islam. Are you a soldier? No. Why not? We are warriors. We never retreat. We fight to death. That's why. Warriors. Y'all know what I mean. Mondays was the day we trained the warriors. Islam? Islam. All right. And those who want to be with team. You can see our 
Grand Mufti, raise your hand. As well in the back window with the purple tassel, we have our national Grand Mufti. Start raise your hand, boss. Alhamdulillah. Say hey. <laughs> For the Sheikhs, we have a regularly scheduled meeting at 10 o'clock in the morning. I don't know if y'all know that or not, but 10 o'clock is when you itinerary. 10 o'clock in the morning. 10 o'clock in the morning, okay? That means 10. 10 is when the 1 and the 0 and the 12 do what they do. All right? This is all Mars with good thanks for your time. So those are the Moors that put us on. So I'm going to send an Islam to all the Moors. We shall tomorrow, 7 p.m. <coughs> tomorrow, 7 p.m. We got a good one tomorrow. Tune in tomorrow, live right here. 7 p.m. Spread the word. Let everybody know. Canaan Line Mars class. Make sure. Make sure you go check the website. No more daily. No M O O R daily dot com. Sites up and running. Make sure you spread the word. No more daily. That's that's the new one right now. That's the new hashtag. No more daily. Islam to all the Moors. Peace and love to all. And to all, a good night. Stay true, Moors. And serve that nationality we'll do for ourselves what needs to be done. If you think in this game, you already know these beasts kill you on camera. Leave you niggas dead in the streets. You're still handcuffed and bloody. But no 911 calls. By standard effect and full effect. So watch your y'all. Man, blowing food. Watching my people holding up traffic of innocent people. My people need to get their ass kicked. Marching and kicking in his most cowardice and concubines. While dead bodies just multiply. Sisters killed in their cell. You claim it's hell. You're raised and burned down your own community. Not one police station. You love pork shops. But I see no police vacant, and when it comes to revolution, most of y'all are faking. All ethnic groups in this country understand they got a nationality because you answer to such stupid words. Black lives don't matter, but you still claim black. Rather film someone get choked out, but won't choke back. And the one that goes first in charge is trumped up. What you think will happen when President Trump's up? More killing and murders of stateless herds. Goods are concentration camps now. Ghettos are birds. Gun stores shot on ammo. They're melting down church. Black seek shelter in temples where God doesn't dwell. That's why a foreigner can walk walking and shoot up the service. Pray to invisible gods. Give you the curses. You pray to relinquish. None of my business. I suggest nationalize with the the big shit in your face. I see them spray the pepperish liquid. Then pour a white milk on your face. I thought that milk was the devil. Some weapons drown the noise level. Boys, you rebel. You answer such stupid words like Negro, color, the black. You have the point no that I'm making. Blacks are mistaken. Call them highwaymen, not cracker pigs or bacon. Taking your tax dollars and riot gear, they relaxing. Cause in a black status, don't even think about a class action. Don't even think about rights being respected without getting injected. I see you infected. Then the same ones that violate the laws you re-elected. Your vote matters more than black lives. Feel disrespected. Control the Negroes, looks tested and perfected. That's why about being black, I'm skeptic and left it. My people are tripping, walking with arms like 
Panthers who got nowhere in the 60s, so that's not the answer. And black leader, race war, instigator, puppets, teach, kill, those who killed us as justice. But have they ever killed? I think not. If they did it, CSA, nobody to show. Yellow envelope, money in escrow. Accounts overseas, not in democracies, living hypocrisies. It's all the jure mockeries, bureaucracy, vampiric, but most can't hear it. It's only the attitude, the regalia is not clan spirit. Until my people wake up, your struggle for rights continues. And your children organs end up on the leak menu. You love text, but delete the messages more send you with no status. You're in the jurisdiction and venue of the same beat system you were to defeat. Only as Moors will you get them on the heels of their feet. Of the same beat system you attempt to defeat. Only as Moors will you get them on the heels of your feet. Uh, the street is my world. I don't, uh, I don't pretend to go uptown and be anything fancy. I can, but I find more real in the world that I'm in than I do the tinsel. And the real world is the one I have to deal with every day. You know? uh, believe me, if I started murdering people, there'd be none of it left. Let the bass kick. kick. Playtown over since y'all dropped the ball. Bound to the continent, there's no asylum for y'all. Pushing the black Asiatic game with Ford L and Pool Bay before NOI. I'm rep, draw L or Take proclaim to be the reincarnation and claim to be the true head of the Moorish nation. No mention of really ill, but I read his letters. Dirty Moors mad because they thought they dead as letters. Many were there when decisions were handed down. Now they claim that me, Leo, was not ordained, not commissioned, not called or appointed. With the vine plans for ages, but Dirty Moors making changes. Working with FBI doing infiltrations. In a pheasant alley's giving bogey smoke inhalations. In secret walls of public mentions. Don't believe, get the minutes of the first convention. Kirkman and Lomax Bay got called out as villains against the Prophet Soder and El Paul Gibbons. Thousands of Moorish Americans followed those leaders that killed the Prophet and made Moors parrots not readers. They don't study, 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 brains hollow. To crush the truth, plant dissension in the ones that follow. Robbed the treasury, felt like they hit the lotto. Took advantage of the fearful Moors in the times of sorrow. Moments still critical a hundred years later message stick to the principles in your actions be progressive don't sell your soul for a title take the membership role watch out for grand sheets pushing you in a censorship hole the sellout was great not a comfy lot active more clumsy not humbly but act grumpy and jumpy active more see them touchy and think it's lovely but face is ugly i push back so don't shove me if not for love it would be just as dirty moors get from me hitting all reincarnates and writs of discovery and demanding the treasure recovery and love for money wearing affairs don't make you a moorish addict dirty moorish heads are boy scouts and cadets working for fbi inspectors slaves for gadgets claiming they got pulled but they really dead magnets running a fraud that's done because new moors are here one for all all for one profit like musketeers Bay, not tamper or buccaneers i strike nerves like harmless strings on those puppeteers pushing misconceptions as teachers and calling the facts swinging my shimitar tongue not a fireman's axe quick to call me out as dirty say i violate acts if you don't nationalize know that i annihilate racks nailing through their palms and incepts on beams of wood burn crosses on black lawns in my moorish hood black clansmen like moving from 1960 white power not supremacy like clayton bixby why you don't pull up on the passenger side of the police car and bust on the police instead of your brother? I've never heard of it. You say you're a gangster. 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 Black power, my ass, y'all just playing the ass posing, fronting, no busting, no dirty cock gun button. At least more right rich trying to do something. Pen has my weapon, fences up and turbans, no bluffing. Don't get it twisted, so I'm all get hand cuffing. Judges dismiss cases, prosecutors cussing. Tell them I got accused of self or get sued. Civil right leaders are conscious black, marching on news, stopping traffic. People that didn't kill your sons and daughters. In Canada, we call your writing out of order. Nationality has me awake like a sleep. Disorder, while most wear blinders, my peripherals broader. For the record, I sweat in nervous court recorders. In Admiral Earth, I'm sure smalls walk on water. Engines return with nozzle kills, no side blood. While they stay killing their minds and saying they learn. Why you don't pull up on the passenger side of the police car and bust on the police instead of your brother? I've never heard of it. You say you're a gangster. 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 Gangster.
The forefathers had names before they became slaves. Seems like today it's only nicknames and a name. You should be learning so pain could stop from these vermin. German Nazi Inquisition is enslaving with sermons. Declared independence, still giving more reverence. Talking to Muslims at over office and entrance into the entrance masses. Keep them docile and passive. Killing them, corralling back, backing like hostile fascists. Take oaths to break them, unless it's from the law. They give profits, we take them and neglect like ancestors. Playing Mr. Tuffy, smoking a dutch from the same master. The bullies stealing your money for lunch Wanna drink from their bowl Cause they spike their punch With Clorox I'm not guessing But I have a hunch I can say I stand up to mercenary punks While you face for posing With cross cocked and shotguns come Why you don't pull up on the passenger side Of the police car And bust on the police Instead of your brother I've never heard of it You say you're a gangster 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 if you got guns and use them on targets moving Try KKK badge carriers in your hood cruising I'm not promoting violence, it's a point I'm proving Moore's methods do work for coons disapproving Call it calling you up, but you're attacking the sheep And wanna show me how good you are with your hands and feet Never challenge a cop when they arresting your brother Or will wear hoods and hold skittles after another Acting with lethal weapons, you Mel Gibson's and gloves Shot in the back of watching you suffer Black standard on corners and seconds life smothered Chief for Gabriel for sudden death, listen to mother Listen to common exercise in his five senses To end racism, stop looking to racial lenses look at constitutional not civil defenses stop marching the only thing that pickets is fences why you don't pull up on the passenger side of the police car and bust on the police instead of your brother i've never heard of it you say you're a gangster 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 g